Hey, Ghost Lady, have you thought about uh, trading? Not yet. Mm, why not? Because it's more of like guys, you know, guys are the only ones who are always doing this trading business. You no, know? actually, there's a new app. It's called Okta. Oh, I've seen and it. 56% of women trading on it are women. On that app? Yes. Whoa. Do you get what I'm saying? Did I say it right? Yeah, I think I'm 34% of the <laughs> other guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've downloaded it, actually. I'm here to go live, like, trade with my money. Yeah. But it's so easy, man. Like, it's got... The interface, number one, user-free. Like, uh, user-friendly, rather. Oh. Try it out. Like, very user-friendly. They've got, like, account on Twitter, social mm. media, 24-7 help if you need help and stuff. And then there's, like, tutorials. So mm. there's a place where you go on the app. There's tutorial. There's webinars to teach you. And then you can set up an account. But, like I said, I'm on it, but I haven't yet used my money because... I'm still a novice. I'm re really new at this thing. Okay. Where you can use like demo money, risk free, to see and develop like different strategies of trading and stuff. So I think you must join the other 66 yeah, percent and know, try definitely. it out. So it's risk free. You can be on the demo version for as long as you want, oh, or okay. the demo account with the fake money. 100% man yeah. So make sure you register right now And big shout out to our friends at Okta They've got a promo code for us If you oh. use MACG100 okay. That's M-A-C-G100 You get 100% bonus on your deposit mm. Damn So that means if you deposit Like 100 bucks You get 200 bucks oh, Don't go on. And 100 So make sure you trade responsibly Okta yeah. is a registered FSP Yeah they're going to give you, you know, uh, lessons and stuff like that. It's as easy as that. Just download the app and it's, it's, it's legit. It's licensed with, like, like you said, FSP. FSP mm. Exactly, with all the authorities and the right bodies and stuff. And just learn, you know. It's not like an overnight success, this, yeah. FX, uh, this forex uh, uh, trading thing, you know. It's literally the buying and selling of foreign exchange dollars, pounds, Australian dollar or whatever. So just learn, man, and get the right basic foundation for it. I've missed so many oh. puns, dog. I've missed so many puns, bro. It, for real? Yeah, dog. At least, there was, thank goodness, there was an audience. Yeah. I think they caught some. Yeah. But I brought you some more. You need to buy some more new puns, man. <laughs> buy some new puns with this one. <laughs> How would you feel if Imnaga did shit without you? I'd be proud. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be proud if he did shit without you. I ain't no, no. Not like this. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> You'll name the kid Pride. <laughs> so generally, mm. the oh, guy is uh, 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 approachable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Something on the group. Me, I don't know much about drip, guys. Mara, please tell me, is this drip or not? Is that you? What? Fried. It's not drip. Can tell you that <laughs> for free. Can tell you. No, it's, it's, ba ah, it's Balenciaga. Good. Yeah, when, when you record with Pori, hey, yo, have your own food, buy the electricity, bring your own, bring your own laptop also. Black. Uh, Remember these words. Bring your own laptop, buy your own electricity, bring your own food. <laughs> Hey, Pinduk, I'm so pissed off, man. Fucking hell, man. Jesus, bro. Mm. Mean. Who, who, who took, uh, is it the jam? What is it? Who took the, um, yeah, the jam out of your sandwich? Yeah, who stole the, the jam? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm butchering the saying. Yeah. Who took the, is it the cheese? What happened, bro? No, I had a huge fight with my lady yesterday, man. Massive. Oh, those happened. Yeah, how bad? How, how bad, bad? bad? There's bad, different bad, levels of bad. It was bad, dog. Like, really, really Over bad. what? So... You know, I've been on the road, right? Trying to get... Um, we started uh, trying to get those thousand signatures for... Yes, for yes, 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 oh, yes. Yeah, by the way, we're going to find out on the 18th of March if we're eligible to run as independent what what. Oh. If we've been sabotaged or not. Yeah, yeah, we'll find out on the 18th. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. Fuck around, find then, out, then, then, then we went to uh, Durban for the for the first leg of oh, the... Oh, shit. Nationwide so you were in Bram. 
Then you were in Durban. Mm. Yes. It's ass, ass, ass. Uh, All I'm... Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm we can see... Some fight is not even I'm about that. that. We can see this fight uh, build down. I'm looking at that, it from a, man, a woman's perspective. <laughs> Palm is ass and you know what I mean? <laughs> Women in Durban have big asses, so... No. It's like, yo, okay, oh, okay. By the way, uh, 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 shout out to everybody that came through, to all the chillers that came oh, through to Durban. What an amazing show. You guys know I suck being on, on, on stage, right? Like I got stage fright, right? I think you and I have gotten the grip now. We've I'm starting to get the hang of it. I yeah, think yeah, yeah. the Durban one was the best yeah, one personally. Kanye still has that practice. Because yeah. <laughs> you and Lakshmi with the branches, we're now, Shit. you know, yeah. we're, we're more comfortable. Yeah, you can I'm more tell, comfortable. You I'm can getting tell there. her she's still like in the deep end. Yeah. It's like, you know, yeah. And funny enough, I couldn't yeah. hear a single word you said, bro. I didn't hear anything you were saying, bro. It's because there's no mon. Nah, we need monitors. He said we want to get feedback. Oh, yeah. Speaker. Because I, I proposed, we had a post meeting, remember? Because. Yeah. We need speakers facing us yes. for monitoring, like in DJing or even bands or even comedians. Some have like on the stage. How is their feedback? How are they doing it when they've got monitors facing them, speakers facing them? Because that's how you're going to hear me because all the speakers yes. are facing the people. Mm. So I'm, I'm sitting here, but you won't hear me. I won't hear Kanye. I heard you, but you were like in a And I missed so many oh. puns, dog. I missed so many puns, bro. It, for real. Yeah, dog. At least though. Thank goodness there was an audience. Yeah. I think they caught some. Yeah. But I brought you some money. You need to buy some more new puns, man. <laughs> <laughs> buy some new puns with this one. <laughs> what is yo, this? yo, 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 yo. I... <laughs> Let me tell you my puns, Let me tell you my puns. Is this real money? <laughs> What is this, though? Let me tell you my little claggies. <laughs> hey, this is real money. No, it's fake, man. It's prop money. Why? Bro? It's in people's prop money. Why do you have prop money, dog? <laughs> Tato's prop money. Why do you have prop money? No, it's fake. It's fake. Oh, you're doing a music video? For who? Oh, for who? For who? who, who, who Whose who, music who's video? Who's fake money? And up and coming artists. Up and coming artists, yeah. So where do you artists. get this? Yeah, where do you get it, bro? Oh, you printed no, it. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's got special print. I can see things that... Don't show. Oh! It's what? even written a film prop. Yeah, That's dope though, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, dog. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Uh, is it Pee Wait, was on edibles. wait, wait, oh, wait. No, 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 no. What happened with you and that lady? Yeah. No, we'll get there. But did you hear Pee was on edibles uh, in Durban? Started watching Coco Mel. <laughs> and he says it's dope. <laughs> oh, wow. More time you watch Coco Mel. Yeah. For real. It was his first time. Enjoy it. But how was Durban, guys? Did we miss out on anything? Because I was in the other villa, man, and you guys, you guys went to the beach at 1 a.m. You guys are wild, man. Yo. Oh, damn, they went to the beach. Yeah. yeah. Is there a beach like Zimbali? Yeah, 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 there's a beach. They've got their own beach. Yeah, Jimbali, yeah. you mean Jimbali. Jimbali, I forgot, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh, yeah. they've got their beach, ne? Yeah, they got a oh, beach. Nice. So you walked, how did you get, you drove? They drove. Oh, wow. Did I miss out on anything? Did anyone make out? <laughs> no one made out? No. <laughs> Ah, Were you guys, guys naked? Because I heard the proposal was that they're going to go swim naked. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Bussy. They're very I trust, quiet. I have faith no, in no you, Bussy. No no Bussy, like, Bussy's been kicked out of the membership, so she's got all know, the files. Yeah, yeah. Why are you, and she's you, disgruntled. Yeah, yeah. How did you earn your, your kick out? Michael? What happened? But pillow, but unfair. That's all I could say. Wait, wait, wait. How did you? What did you do to earn the kick out? I just had a big mouth, but it's fine. It's we need okay. that big Tato, mouth right now. Big mouth? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and Rosato, hey, hey. Rosato kicked her out. Tato. But you enjoy a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Why this one? <laughs> so Busi, what did we miss out, man? What happened? In the villa. Nothing much. Ah. Mm. See? Like, honestly, nothing much. Yeah. We're just chilling yeah. and drinking, and that's it. They went to the beach, I slept, and it was that. So, anyway, so I'm on the road yeah. doing the IEC thing, do the Durban thing. Yes. When I come back, guess what Naledi tells me? What does Naledi tell you? Naledi tells me I got a new variant I got to push. You got a new variant? Of Chiller's Punch. Oh. Who, thought, who thought my consent, dog? Yeah, but. She, she knows what she's doing. Nah, I mean. dog. Nah, nah. But she's responsible for every good thing nah, in your life. Nah, nah, not so this one. So you must trust her. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This What's one, I don't sign this one. So here's the, the, the new Chiller's Punch. Uh, Tequila Sunrise. Uh, <laughs> Tequila Sunrise. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Tequila sunrise. Ah, guys, don't clap. Ah, I'm going to co-sign this one. Aye, aye. 
Yeah. I saw. Have this one. Have this one. I haven't even. I don't even know what the taste is like. I've I haven't even tasted it. it. I've opened it. <laughs> try this one. It's a tequila. Yeah, it's tequila side in this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This you try face. that one. Harold, I'm recording. Harold, Harold. Yeah. I, I'm recording the podcast. Are you gonna come? Cause you know what happened, ne? Eh, 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 December after we launched the first one, right? Yeah. We were all speaking about okay, cool, we're gonna launch a new variant. But I was saying, guys, it's too soon. Hey, Nandi. Ah, Penduka. You know we'll talk of, for last. Uh, of course, you'll say that. You know we'll talk for last. Ah, yeah, yeah. Need to, you know, talk for lacks. Of course, you'll say I'm that, Penduka. Talk for lacks. He's always liked a lady more than me. Of course, you'll say that. What do you mean I've liked? Yeah, hey, Utin uh, man. Hey, Utin man. No, I mean, so, so I'm saying, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so December, we're working on a new variant. Yeah, no, tough lax. Right? Yeah, tough lax. Uh, you see, it's tough lax. Oh, like coffee. the, 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 the sweet. Yeah, coffee vibes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay. Nandy. Nah, bro. I actually prefer, I like this more than the, the, the original punch. But my thing is, it's too soon, bro. Like, I was telling her that I'm on the ground, dog. I know what the chillers want. Yeah, it is too soon. You just dropped the pot. When, when did you drop it? In December, bro. Like, yeah, I'm, it's too soon. Bro, I meet chillers all the time. They're they're always still complaining. Yeah, they're still looking, still looking for, for, it. for it. So how the fuck do we drop a new variant when people can't even find the first one? How does that make sense? They're still dog? looking for it. How does that make sense? Eh? Yeah, because some chillers genuinely are still looking for it. I, I get asked in my inbox every day. Hey, man, I live in Cape Town. Exactly. What can I find? And the you want to drop a new variant? Ah, she's getting too excited, my man. Uh, she's COVID, fire, coveting man. this shit. Uh, new variants every fucking yeah? week. So I guess you, you're good. No, 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 we're not good. Still now. Why? So is this in the shop? So what's going on now? So, this, just so, 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 so the first rollout, because like, it's hard to get it out at all the stores on the same day. So the rollout is going to be this week to a couple of stores by, by next week, Friday. It should be at all the stores, like nationwide. <laughs> Pick and pay, macro, shop right liquors, it should be all there. Oh. But my thing is, it's too soon, man. We should have dropped this in like September, October. Not now, bro. But Meg is already going to be on the show up, so? Yeah, because yeah. she signed it off without me. How do you sign something without me? We're a partnership. What the fuck? This is not lady's punch. It's not mine. This one. It's not mine. Oh, but I. But you say that's marriage. And you women do that. You women. Why do you undermine us like that, bro? Uh uh. Huh? No, she was trying to surprise you or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, uh, bro. You're supposed to be grateful. No, but this what is if this. Maybe you said no. You know, you don't work enough. I need to. Maybe it was you. Some you men, told her something yeah. that hey, you need to work. Okay, bro, but, you but, got but, an but, but ghost lady, ghost lady, who knows the chillers better than me? She is a fucking housewife. She just spends my money. That's all she does. Hey, she does. Hey, oh, hey, hey lady. I'm in the trenches. She's writing. Hey, every, I'm writing. Hey, every Instagram post. Hey, down on you. Every Instagram oh. post. Now, lady's opening up a, a, a box of <laughs> Givenchy, yes. Louis Vuittons, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. Every Instagram. Every Instagram, every Instagram no, post. Now, lady's <laughs> opening a, bo a box of. As a matter of fact, like, like, don't buy this shit. one. This one, don't buy this one. <laughs> It must fail this one. <laughs> no man, Mr. No, but, duck, duck. <laughs> but be grateful you got an no, ambitious woman. That. No man, we are a partnership, dog. You can't make and a big you... decision like that without me. But you got to benefit... come back here and then go to every week. Oh, we've got a new variant. Hey, we've got a new variant. No man, it doesn't work like that, bro. Uh... It does. No, dog. But she's pushing the the bag, the business. Mm. She's not just spending. You see, you are a woman there's, there's who's a right who's way. not there's just a right spending way. the money but earning it there's also. A, there's a right way, dog. I've never done anything without consulting her. Why does she, who the fuck is she to approve this without my consent? And it's about chillers. She doesn't have chillers. Chillers know me, bro. They don't know her. They know her now. Yeah, now they know her. <laughs> now they know her. Ah, uh, but Meg, no. Nah, no. it's getting you too know, excited. You know, I believe though. in, let, you, we must hear the other side. Let's call Nalady now. Okay. Ne? Yeah. We must hear Actually, the yeah. other side. You guys talk. Oh. Because. I have to unblock her. Block her. <laughs> Don't you blocking your wife? How long have you had that block? <laughs> How long have you had a block? I'm dramatic. How long have you had a block? <laughs> uh, we've been talking for like Loco a few days. Oh, I'm a guy who's got your kids. <laughs> oh, you're What's under you my block your uh, woman, man. How would you feel if Mnanga did shit without you? I'd be proud. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'd be proud if it did shit without you. I ain't no, 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 not that kid. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> you'll name the kid Pride. If it's, if it's to make... <laughs> He'll name the kid Pride. It's to make us money, <laughs> baby, quiet. Yeah, because that's my thing, bro. It's to benefit all, all, exactly. all, all you lot, the family, everyone. You guys talk to him. Naledi! Hey, Naledi! Oh, oh man, you see. Oh, Naledi! Naledi! <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Muti waka wa tubeka. There's a part in that song that goes, Naledi! Naledi, <laughs> you know that, right? Uh-uh. Naledi, Naledi, yo, 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 muti waka watuba. Naledi, Naledi. Hey, let me try with what's that? The kaifas. We must have that the kaifas, man. Have you tried getting him on uh, an interview? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's not going and? through. It's not going through. I'll keep trying. Yeah. But one thing I do like though, yeah, is because uh, due to the success of the first Chillers Punch, yeah. we've got People money to give away to oh. the Chillers. Oh, so shit. that I like. Nice. So let me bring out this thing. We've got here it is, here it is, here it is. It's here. <laughs> oh, the real money. Yeah, yeah. Let me oh. write the amount. Can someone guess how much you're giving away? Check. Yeah. Ah, it's it's a a check. Can, you, can, check. can anyone can anyone guess how much money we have to give away? Hundred thousand. Okay. Fifty thousand. I think a hundred thousand. Uh, okay. You remind me of Rob Hertzog. Remember when you wrote like an amount to that nigga? Let me remember. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here's the amount. Are you guys ready? Can I have a drum roll? Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so this is the total amount we're giving away. Okay. All right. From Chilas Patch. Yeah, for the new variant. Are you guys ready? For the new variant? Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, 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 wait. For the huh? new variant? Yeah, yeah. How so? I'll explain, the, I'll explain the mechanics. Oh, okay, cool. oh. But this is the money we're giving away. You guys ready? One, two, one, two. That's 20. Damn! 200,000. 200K! 200K! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 I'm still in my race. I'm still in my race. I'm still in my race. Instead of wait, 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 so we're running this for four weeks. Every four, every week, we're going to announce five chillers who win 10,000 rands each oh, for four weeks. How do they... Guys, please don't DM us. How do they enter? Because we're going to get inundated with DMs. So what you got to do, right? It's pretty simple. You got to buy the new variant, the Chillers Punch Tequila Sunrise. Shoot an ad, right? Yeah. You shoot an ad. Like, you can be creative. Like, out of the box, whatever you want to do. Yeah, see, just see, make see. an ad and then tag Chillers Punch. Nice and then one. every week we're going to choose five people who walk away with 10,000 rands each. So the most creative ad gets 10,000 rands. Yes, yes. So we're going to announce three winners on uh, the Monday show okay. and the Spreading Humors will announce two winners on their show. Shit. Oh. Yeah. So that's the one thing I like about this. Okay. As long as we're giving chillers money, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I say I'm going Okay, <laughs> Black Studios, let's see again. Yeah, but it's all good. So she had a great year. I like how they say 200k. I like how they say 200k. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what we want to do, dog? You know what we want to do, ne? Uh, with one of the ads, we want to put it on the Big Brother finale. Like during, you know when the ads are playing? Yeah, we'll take one ad and put it up there. How nice they? one. There was a guy who did an ad for Chiller's uh, Punch. You the original him? one. Very creative guy. Please enter, bro. Like, he, he did such a great job. You remember? The one where he opens and it, we say something. No. Oh, is that another one? The, the other one that's like in the beach. Oh, yeah. With the beach sands. Yes. Yeah. yeah that's a, so that's a good ad. guy did an yes. ad and it was incredible. Mm. Bro, uh, get your money, man. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, shout Ooh. out. Yeah. So you're going to put it on the Big Brother finale. Think, finale. That would be dope, man. Oh, really? That would be fucking yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> How much is the ad space? Do you know? Have you inquired yet? Yes, yes. Yeah, early. So that, because I'm sure there's a lot of people want to advertise. Yes, this, yes. To so make yes. sure that they. It was Shanghai Fest, man. Yeah. But anyway, hit the other minute. Oh, we yeah, are back, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Soap and Duke is here. Yeah. Tibblers is here. Yeah. Ghost Lady is yeah. here. Yeah. Tabang is here. Yeah. Shorts by... Tippy. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Shots by Tepi. Shots by Tepi. Dudu's, yeah. I don't know this green guy with the pirate shirt, man. Yeah, 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 man. What's your name? Who are you, bro? Prince. Prince. Prince, Prince is, yeah. Prince, Did, shut did up, that bro. lady send you? Tato's, <laughs> 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 yeah. Neo's, yeah. yeah. Fat Check guys, yeah. What up, Fat Check Coco the Dunks? Madeline, DJ BJ, yeah. Oh, DJ BJ. Oh, DJ BJ. Yeah. DJ and the ladies, Chilla Sponge is here. Yeah, Tequila, Tequila Sunrise. <laughs> I actually like it. It tastes great. Uh, 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 mm. Yo, speak about Big Brother, man. What do you guys think about Yolanda being evicted? <laughs> Disqualified, to be precise. What's good, what's good for them? Goose is good for... Uh-uh, uh-uh, it's too, too. Hey, no. said geese. She said geese. <laughs> she said uh, geese. It's geese. It's geese. Good for the gander. So gander. what happened was with... It's the same thing they applied with Bravo, bro. You can't speak recklessly like that in a country with GBV. And didn't she fucking learn a lesson? How do you say you... What did she say exactly? She wants to molest or she wish she could molest someone? Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was actually watching. Oh, episode. shit. Yeah. You so what's the context, bro? What's the background? Yeah, what they, they were drunk and she was upstairs in the bedroom and she was talking to another housemate saying, I wonder, I'd love to molest another housemate. I forgot which oh, housemate bloody. it was. Yo. But she Fucking said hell. that and then Sinai stood up exact at the same time. He's like, yo, yo, that's a fireball. Oh, she's going to get a strike or something. And he walked out. Uh, from the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, this one. Yeah. 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 She was sitting, we caught up immediately. Because like, yeah, 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 yeah. remember what happened to my Keke? Because yeah. he listened to Bravo B when he was like, yo, let's uh, fuck the girl. She's drunk or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he, they, he realized that not saying anything could land him in shit as well, you know, mm. if he's part of that conversation. Mm. And it's sad, it's so unfortunate, because I think she was going to walk away with the two million, eh? She had love. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been watching it like that. My woman has been watching it. I haven't been watching Big Brother like that. I, I'm not really a Big Brother viewer kind of guy. I'm not, for real. Even when I went to Big Brother, I was not watching Big Brother. Like, but people loved her. I got a sense that people really, because every time BBM trended, Yolanda is trending, whatever, they love her. They she was nominated her. like every week and people kept saving her. Yeah. Mm. But she's gone now. That's stupid though. Especially after someone got evicted and disqualified for such utterances. How do you yeah. then go fucking like... And say exactly the same yeah, thing basically. Like, Dude, she but fumbled I, a bag, like straight I think, up. I think she'll be fine, bro. Like her personality was so larger than life. I think her personality was even bigger than the show. So I think she'll be fine, bro. She'll be fine after saying this, though. Okay, but my thing is, you see, and we need to be honest, because she's a woman, she'll be fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, true. Oh. true. Like, true, if it was true. a guy, you see, bravo. He's fucked. He's, He's fucked. fucked. No. But she's For a woman. Life. For life. Yeah, that's why she thought she could say that and get away with it. Because you guys are unaccountable a lot of times. You don't want to be held accountable. You're not accountable. Only men should be accountable, especially when it comes to GBV and such things. A lot of young men lost their virginity through rape, raped by older women. Mm -hmm. It's not spoken about enough. Mm -hmm. You guys are a big part of the problem also. Yeah. And it's not spoken enough. It's not highlighted enough. Right? Yep. Like, it, it, what, it's what people say, like with Kelly, for example, we're not saying she's responsible for, Meta's, for Senzo's death, but she knows something. We feel like she knows something. She's not divulging, but she's, her life continues. Yeah. If she was a guy, different standards apply to men. So she'll still be fine outside the house. But her obviously being um, evicted <laughs> after this, isn't this also a sign that what happened to Bravo B has happened to her? So at, at the end of the day, it's equal. Big Brother had no choice to be consistent. There would be noise because there was already noise, I remember. Mm. Like for a day before she got uh, disqualified, there was noise to say, yo, you have set a precedence that if someone speaks so in a rapey immediate. manner. So it wasn't immediate? No. It wasn't. Whoa. I remember, I, I still couldn't find the clip, but I remember people say, yo, this girl just said this. This is what happened earlier on. There's a precedence that's been set mm. and you need to act and you need to be consistent. And he was. Mm. Hectic. Two million just like that. Gone. Ish. Lost focus. And she was taking it, bro. Who do you think is going to take it now? Now that she's gone. Yeah. Uh, Makeke. Makeke, innit? Yeah. Mm, or Liam. People like Liam as well. Yeah, How's Z? Ah, Z's boring. For real, she's yeah. gorgeous, though. Yeah, she's beautiful. You're more cool, Z, guys. Yeah. I told my woman, I remember, like, and I hardly tell my woman, like, yo, this girl is beautiful, like, anyway, you know? But I was like, that girl is beautiful. Mm. But she's boring. Yeah, she's boring. She, she, 
she doesn't interact with the other housemates. She's always with young puppy, like her, her boyfriend, or they have a situ- situation. Nah, that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Unless you're gonna f- like have sex, you know what I mean? Like with Lexi and Manka, remember? Like they were together, but Lexi was still free to f- not float with other men, but she was engaging of other people. But once you have sex in the house, and it depends how though. That's another thing, you know. But that's boring. That's a recipe for disaster. Would you go on Big Brother, Coast Lady? Um, I'm not sure, but I think my issue is is the nudity of it all. Ah, uh, yeah. wait, nudity of other people or nudity of you? Myself and other people. I just hate naked people. <laughs> mm. Damn. <laughs> Mm. How do you have sex? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I can stomach one person. Not, not too many. Hey, hey. Not too many. Oh. So I think that's my it's just like. So you want skinny dipping in Durban? No, no, I didn't. Mm. No, mm. no. But in my pool, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So I just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I would. I would. I would think I would if I was single and I. It's not like it's not like something like it's a train smash. Hey, like, you'd do well because you're a people's person, so I don't think you'd yeah. go up for eviction. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You know, and I know I know how to play the game. You yes. Know, just... mm-hmm. And you like drama as well. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I can. She brings I can the drama. Be caring, you know, and I can be a bitch at the same time. Yes. You know? I, yes. I know how to play both. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys hear the story? So okay, no, wait, you guys. You guys. I was. I would been big brother. <laughs> Like, why not Meg, me were you? Me, no, you see, I'm interested in. Would you? Nah, feel no, 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 you asked me before. I said no, I wouldn't. Oh, I think yeah. I would do it. Yeah, you asked me before. Oh, I said I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a private guy, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa. You know what I'm anyway, did you guys see the story? No? Uh, Google fires a male employee who refused to cheat on his spouse. A male employee apparently was fired for rejecting a female's employee's sexual advances with the company saying the man was not inclusive enough. The man is apparently suing the tech company. Wait, so a colleague wanted uh, to fuck him. Yeah, a female colleague. A a female colleague. Yeah. Then he said no. Yeah. And he got fired for not being inclusive. Yes. Wild, right? Yeah, how do you apply for a job at Google? <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. Man. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Let's Google that. That is crazy, man. That is crazy. What does inclusivity have to do with that? Like, I don't get it. Am I missing something? No, no, it's foul. I, I also That's don't foul, understand. Like, yeah, like, dude, it's like an employee wants to come to your house. You know what I mean? And you say no. Uh, you... You've got the right to say no. It's within. It's your house. It's private. It's not company. But I'm saying when they say he wasn't inclusive enough, what do they mean by that? I don't know what they mean, bro. Yeah. I legit, I think it's stupid. I don't know what they mean. Like, does anyone know what they mean? Yeah, because fucking is not. When they say he wasn't inclusive, it's not a professional duty. Yeah, I'm actually opening because I'm trying to find out if they what exactly was. What is this part where it says you're not being inclusive? Yeah, please, okay. find out. Because, like, it's not your, your, your sex or, like, your sexual activity does not form part of your duties at work. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I mean? Yes, so, yes, yes. who I fuck, my employer can't decide. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? It's like, I'll do whatever I want to do. It's my dick. Mm. So why does Google then have an opinion on the guy's dick and when he, where he can put it in? Mm. It's like, oh, you don't want to put it in here? Yeah, we're firing you. Because like, you're not <laughs> inclusive. Most companies don't want you to fuck the colleague. Yeah. Fed checker? I mean? Why does this company want you to fuck the colleague? Fed checker? I'm not sure if Ghosty is still reading. No, I'm going. I'm. I'm. Re- I'm it's gonna take a while. You know, right? No, because I'm trying not to. It's gonna, take a, it's gonna take a long time. She's done no. the first sentence. <laughs> no, wait. I'm trying to find the part where exactly it's, uh, the whole article. Obviously, it's Phone long. Phone the team. Yeah, please. Uh, uh, if you found the part, phone. why do they say it's like he, he's not being inclusive? Yeah, why does it Exa- fall under inclusivity? Okay. So, 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 Fed check. You said what's going on. This Google thing is, is crazy, yeah, man. It's, it's so it's, confusing. It's very crazy and confusing, and it's a long article. Okay, to summarize it the best way that I can, 
um, there was an Asian lady at the workplace. So they had a meeting together, a dinner. And the lady threw herself onto the gentleman, right? The Indian guy. The Indian guy. So he then decided that he was going to report the matter to HR. However, when it got to HR, the lady switched up her statement saying that she overheard about the previous um, case of another female um, throwing her herself onto the gent and 2014 guy, yes and the guy agreed to it so she thought that it was okay and because she's asian and the guy's wife is also asian she thought that maybe he's into asian females mm. and then she stated on her case that she believes that if she was white and she did the very same thing to the male oh, he wasn't going to report it okay so when it got to um, but was the, the first lady who threw himself at him white? Yes, yes. she was a, f- a white female. Okay. Yes. So when it got to the HR officers, they started seeing that it does seem that there is a little bit of favoritism oh. whenever he does something. So hence they fired him because they're saying that he's not being inclusive. And he wasn't able to argue his case properly with the HR when the Asian lady spoke up about her side of the story. But the Asian lady is the one who threw herself on. So generally, mm. the mm. guy is uh, 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 approachable. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> So basically, that's where the inclusive comes so, out. So it's about race. So generally, the guy unfavoritism. Per se. Towards white people. Yes. But this incident triggered them to speak about that. And I feel like he's yes. fired for that. And he's not fired for not, the sexual... not smashing a lady who threw herself at him. Yes. Because, because, look, man, if a woman, she may be white, throws herself at me and she's got ass, I'll smash. Right? Yeah. And then True. a black woman who doesn't have ass throws herself at me. I won't smash. Oh. Not on the basis of she's black. On the basis of she's not a type of yes. other things. So that woman, number one, like, so the guy's married to an, an Asian woman. Yes, so he's clearly, to he does not discriminate against Asians. It's just that the woman who hit on him, he didn't like. Yes, true. So basically. maybe it was not fight for that, but fight for other, uh, uh, the way he moves outside of that particular situation. But that situation brought up the conversation of the guy is colorist or the guy you know, leans towards white people at work or favoritism. But he's not fired. So he's not fired for not fucking the girl because the girl approached him. No, he's not fired for not fucking the girl. So why 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 it was a However, however, he is opening up a case against Google because he's saying that the grounds that they're firing on him on are not admissible. Mm. So that's why they're saying that he got fired for being inclusive by not smashing an Asian colleague. That's Just leave thing. colleagues, guys. Leave colleagues alone. Yeah, guys. It's not a fireable Tata. offense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's leave colleagues, bro. Yeah. <laughs> It's not worth it. Yeah, yeah, guys. It's family, Look now. Man. It is fam. We got fam. It's fam. Yeah, just don't smash colleagues, man. You know what I mean? But smash some family. people find, find eh? love. Smash hey. family. Huh? So team. Uh, fam- colleagues are family. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying smash No, you family. said don't smash colleagues. Smash family. I didn't say that. What did you say? We're family. <laughs> colleagues are family. Oh. Hey, umdeni. Ah, umden, umden. Umden, umden. But yeah, now nah, on the real man. Yeah. But sometimes you find love. Like people genuinely find love within the workspace. Sometimes it happens. Mm, mm, yeah, it happens. a lot actually. Yeah. I mean, you're with this person every time. Exactly. Mm. Then for hours mm. on end. Mm. Mm. Ever wanted to hook up with a colleague? Never. Never. 947 YFM? No, no, YFM, I did it, and then I was like, never again. Who did you smash at YFM? Uh, Muto. Oh, oh, how is she? Because uh-huh. she's like, she's a Bible girl. She's like very Bible churchy. Yeah, yeah. One of those, like lady in the, in the streets, she, uh, in the sheets, freak. 
I can't remember, it was a long time ago. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, Khumuta Taji, what an, well, Khumuta, I wonder what happened to her. Mm. And you saw? Uh, mm. Work, nah, 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 nah. Mm. nah. I've never. I had a crush on someone, but it never it, it became anything. I didn't even tell them. It was like, oh, they're hot, yeah, whatever. On podcast and chill? Bingisha. Podcast and chill, I've never. Um, <laughs> never, no. Hey, Kaya. Dude, dude. <laughs> no, I've, I've, we've never hooked so up. With you. You've moved on from her, what? We've yeah. never hooked up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Hi, you've been done already. How's this seat? And then has Kuluma. And then me has Kuluma. Me has Kuluma. Now Peli podcast next year. Now Peli, Peli, Peli. Did you see the the Andrew Tate brothers got arrested again? I saw that, man. Yeah. And it was after they made comments on John Cena, right? On yeah, from the Oscars, yeah. Oscars. Did you watch that podcast? It was so funny, man. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Let me try and find it. It's so funny. Those guys are hilarious, man. Fuck, Andrew Tate says everything that I want to say, but I can't say it. But he, uh, he nails it. Because you know I'm bad with words, bro. Like, it's hard for me to explain. But he reads like a thousand books. Yeah, He's I need to read. Like I need to start well reading, read. man. You read, though. I've, yeah. I, you read lately. So. Wait, what am I reading? I have a feeling. I have uh, a feeling you read. Yeah, yeah. You're better though, man. Yeah. Like, you know. Where am I going? Stuff and now. rotate. And rotate. <laughs> and rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rotate, irony. Like, Got a podcast, smart. but can't communicate. <laughs> <laughs> Just vibe on talent. <laughs> Just running a lot of vibes on talent, man. That's good. It says a lot, though. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Let me find the video, bro. Yes, here it is. Cool. And yeah. rotate. Are you okay, going back brothers. to Google? Okay. Okay. I'm praying, listen. What are those guys? Colored, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because their dad is like, even the dad was African. a fit, like, yeah. African not black. No, not like black, like us and stuff. He was also very, very a mixed guy. Oh. Yeah, but more black than the okay. mom, I think, is white. It's white. He was yeah. a chess, like, grandmaster or something, the yeah. dad. Yeah, I read about yeah, that. And taught them chess and stuff, yeah. Mm. Andrew Tate and his brother arrested in the UK for explaining and talking about the evil rituals of men wearing dresses and skirts in Hollywood so that they can be made famous. Uh, luckily, a Romanian judge stepped in and saved the Tate brothers from being sent to prison on frivolous charges against their human rights. And so they're out of prison now, yeah? They're out of prison. Mm-hmm. But it, you didn't watch the, that podcast? I didn't. Oh, man, it's so funny, I man. didn't. I, I know like I did a, a podcast about, you know, mm. the humiliation ritual. When you want to become a wrestling listen, 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 listen. star and get really muscly and get in fantastic <laughs> shape and rock I'm you sure guys are Cena, when you want to become a wrestling superstar and get really muscly and get in fantastic shape and run around being a big, strong man, beating everybody up, when he had all these dreams and aspirations, he didn't intend on ending up walking around naked or putting on a dress. There's a video of him with Jimmy Fallon wearing a dress. We need that video. Mm. Uh, but that wasn't his intention. But then he gets to the gay wall. He goes to a party of mm. Duff Patty. Yeah. He goes to a party. All of a sudden, starts listening to Meat Mill, whatever. All of a sudden, he crosses the wall. And now he gets to go to the Oscars. How often do wrestlers... Oh, he's an actor now. Of course. He moved from <laughs> wrestling into acting. No, in, sorry. He moved from wrestling... Into gay sex. Nice. Into acting. Smart. For, don't forget the fucking gay sex. Wall. You're right. Gay wall. Gay wall. Now he's an actor, and now he's at the Oscars. How many people in the WWF really get to go to the Oscars ever? No, they've elevated him. And all but he- you get the gist of it, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. see you. I see you. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. That's funny. You got to watch that podcast. It's hilarious, man. But what you think about that, though? Them being arrested again. It's so weird, man, because they were arrested before, right? In yeah. Romania, right? Yeah. Are they still in Romania? Uh, I think they were in the UK because they arrested him in the UK, yeah. Was it? Is it? Okay, yeah. And I think it's just because they never have anything on them. You know what I mean? Um, And also, whenever you arrest someone, especially after they speak up against a particular thing, you give credence to that Mm. and their statements. You know Mm. what I mean? So clearly, they've touch the spot, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. And it, what they're saying should be looked into. Because mm. th- that's the thing. It gives validity to whatever they've then been talking about. If, like, for, at first, he's always like, he's, like talking about the Illuminati, the Matrix, the system, and how they 
especially, particularly men, are so disadvantaged. Being emasculated. And being emasculated and that it's fashionable now. Like, you know, men... He as killed, men he killed me when he said uh, all these awards like Oscars and the Grammys they award slaves so it's basically an award to say you've been a good slave this year well done mm. yeah so when someone says that and then they get arrested so the man is clearly touching a nerve you know he's striking a nerve and he's clearly speaking a lot of sense and what he's saying should be looked into because it's obvious now there's an agenda against him and what he's saying because mm. whenever he says it then something happens like this at first I don't know how many days they were in prison for months mm, mm. and then they were let out with no charges they fabricated trumped up charges of yeah. of sexual, sexual assault. trafficking mm. and yeah but there was nothing at the end, right? What's so. your opinion, though, on, like, these humiliation rituals that sh- <coughs> we see done? The thing is, I wouldn't believe it before. I would be like, ah, come on, it happens. People wear dresses. They think it's fun entertainment when it's not. Because but- with John Cena now, he... You- did you see? He was on the he was in the Oscars naked. And they made a board. point of not a lot of guys from wrestling make it that yeah. far. But on the other hand... As much as I want to believe it, on the other hand, The Rock, for example, he went from wrestling to, I mean, a lot of Americans was appalled. They actually would like him to run for pre- the, the presidency. And uh, the parties, one of the parties, if not both, uh, the, the Democrats and the Republicans have actually o- offered him a role in politics because after Trump, it's one of those in America, it's like, hey, if you look like you're a good role model, you can make it. He went from wrestling to being that. Mm. Where is his, but he also was dressed... Humi- where? On um, there's a movie that he was wearing those tights. Uh, I what think so. Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah, I was about to ask where is his humiliation yeah, ritual, yeah. but you just mentioned it. Something was a fairy. He was... Yeah, the fairy. That's the rock. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So he also wore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. But Cat, Cat, maybe Wait, Cat there. Williams. Remember, Cat Williams spoke about this and just kind of like gave a whole history of yes, what's been did. happening. Yes, he did. Yeah. But so. he didn't get arrested shortly afterwards. Exactly. So my or thing, something happened to him shortly. My, my thing with now it. with the Tate brothers, I'm like, okay, I get it when they are being arrested for something. You see now when they were um, for trafficking and all of those things. Obviously, those are offenses that are like... It's, 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 you have to be, you know, arrested and, you know, b- brought down. But with things like just someone sharing yeah, an but, opinion... But, but, but Ghost Lady, that's the oldest trick in the book. Like when they want to take you down, they always... Say, but now, what did they say? What was the reasons for arresting them? Now? Yeah. Sexual misconduct. Oh. Another lady just came up oh, now again. Oh, okay. They I did the same thing with uh, the, the comedian, man. He used to date t- Taylor, not Taylor Swift, who's the, Katy Perry. Russell Brand. They did the oh, same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's got a YouTube channel. He's got a podcast as well. Yeah. He was starting to expose a lot of high-profile people. Then Jiggy Jiggy, sex misconduct oh, yeah. charges oh, yeah, were brought against Russell him as well. Brand. Yeah. Yeah, like it was taken down basically off YouTube and everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then another thing, uh, my question is is when you like um Google these things, whether it's the um hu- humiliation rituals and all of these Did things, you get it by the way, You find check. these details <clears throat> Did you check all over the, the internet and there'll be these examples. Yeah, you was wearing a tutu. Yeah. Yeah, Tooth Fairy. That's the movie. Damn. Yeah. Mm. Damn. So that's fuck. But Wow. It's crazy. What's, what is the But was this not before he became big? Yeah, yeah. It was way in, the, in, like, in the beginning of his acting career. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, he just blew up. Okay, what about Denzel Washington? Where is his? I thought I was going to go through every single But Denzel didn't. Star. No. Yeah, but the thing, my thing is, like, it's like, okay, if that's the ritual, then why is it a select few who go through it? Why is there no constant? Like, why isn't it? But we need so... to scrutinize everything. Even if you, you, you really want to believe something, but you also need to scrutinize it and objectively so. I think it's not just a specific dress up ritual. It's just rituals in jail. So, for example, uh, P. Diddy, his ritual was having gay sex. So you think he's, he doesn't like men and their buttholes and being inside of them? Who? Him. He Who's does. Him? Who? Diddy. Diddy. It's what he likes doing. I don't think it's... I don't yeah, think but it's I'm a ritual, for Diddy, Mac. But I'm saying for him, that may be the ritual. I'm just saying the underlining thing is that there's a ritual. We can't... So we may not know Denzel's ritual. Yeah. It may not necessarily have been addressed. Dress, is what yes, said. but the underlining thing is Better that there's a ritual. Better though, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. <clears throat> but I get you. He possibly may have done something behind closed doors. Yeah. Okay. So you, are we saying that this is everyone? Maybe some people are just exempt? They're just talented and really good. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I'd, I'd love to believe that Denzel, it's just... And the thing is, he stays in his lane. You know, there are obviously some stars that it's in order for them to get to a certain extent, then they have to probably um, be partake in these rituals or whatever it is just to get there. And what makes me believe that, like what you're saying, because mm. with him, Denzel, there's a thing he did. I, I don't know. I think... Um, please go fact check this. I mean, it may be bullshit, but I think he once spoke to uh, some guys like um, who are in, on his level, black actors, and he was like, we will never play certain roles, like gay roles. Oh, yeah. And, you know, because he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't believe that, you know, and that's his belief that yeah. a black man should do certain roles to be emasculated, etc. Mm -hmm. So a guy with that kind of belief to then go through this, I, I find it highly unbelievable that he would go through, you know, a ritual like that. Please check this. I don't want to be making up things here on the podcast. Mm, I think I watched that episode. You remember that? Yeah, nah, yeah, there's yeah. something he, he was like, he'd never play a gay role. And then, or, how, and or then any, obviously... Or wear a dress, for example. He'd never play a role that, as a black man, doesn't stand for what he believes in. You got something for us, Fat Checker? Yeah, it's in video format, so I can't watch it. But yes, he was warning... Um, young black actors in regards to what they should expect in the... Never wear a dress, mm -hmm. never play a... a uh, yeah, as... It, whatever. If you want to call it homophobic, so be it. But that's what he, the man, believes in. So for him to then, to then behind closed doors, perform a particular ritual would be hypocritical. Who's worn dresses in SA? It's not a thing yet, eh? Everyone on TikTok. <laughs> Everyone oh, yeah. on TikTok. Oh. <laughs> that is true. Primo does that. Look, oh, for real. Oh, Oski. 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 Khrodmani, Khrodmani, but he does, right? <laughs> yeah. Primo does. Sis Maria. Sis Maria does. The guy yeah. does. Yeah. Warren. And Warren. And all these people are huge. Ah, <laughs> massive. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Sis Maria is massive. Oskido, huge! <laughs> what's the, what's the, 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 his, the character? Yeah, Skido. Yeah. Uh, Imagine how far you'd go, Mac, if you just wore a dress. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking about TikTok, what do you guys think about the US banning TikTok? I think it's fucked up, man. Americans are bullies, bro. America is bullies. So what they said to TikTok was, um... So the Chinese government, because TikTok is Chinese owned. Yeah. Now the Chinese government, if you're a company within China, they've got the right to knock on your door and say, yo. Give us the data. Give us data mm. of your users, who they are, where they are, and whatever data they can gather through your phone. And mm. generally when you download an app and it says, uh, allow a camera uh, access accessibility, and you say yes, messages, yes, 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 yes. Yes. It means the company then 100%. can track you, can go on your camera, see mm. what you're doing, etc. Mm. So if you're owned by China or you're from China, the government has a right to access that data. Mm. Now, America, what they first did was ban government workers. Mm. Um, like if you, if yeah, if your phone is owned by the government, you work for the FBI or whoever, you can't have TikTok. Mm. TikTok is banned. Right now, they're passing a bill to ban TikTok through Congress, and then once it's done, which everybody like a ninety percent, eighty percent of them voted yes for the bill, it's gonna go to the Senate, which is like a higher house or level yeah. of the parliament. Then. The presidents are gonna sign, uh, to, to you know. But what I find problematic is that <clears throat> they then say to TikTok, "We're gonna ban you, or else you need to be owned by a government that doesn't want access to that information." Um, mind you, they no, you need to be owned by an American company. Yeah, an American company. So what I have a problem with is the fact that. So Twitter is American owned, Google is yeah. American owned, Instagram is American owned, yeah. Facebook is American owned, yeah, yeah. Facebook owns WhatsApp, WhatsApp now becomes American 100%. owned. Hundred percent. So they want a whole monopoly. Yeah. It's literally a bullying strategy and a tactic. You know what I mean? Just like with with remember what Trump did with Huawei. Yeah. Now uh, there's no yeah. Google Play. Yeah, it was Google Play. Mm. Like Huawei, there's no Google Play. Mm. And, mm. and you got to download uh, what uh, apps through. 
This is Huawei fucking yes, store. Where they don't have a monopoly on the app. Exactly. Yeah. So to me, it's just like lit- literally monopolization and bullying. But what I like is because <coughs> also they want the algorithm of, of TikTok because they've yes, got a very the infrastructure, powerful, yeah. very powerful. And you can see Elon is fucking up Twitter because he's trying to. If you notice on Twitter when you get there and there's a video, when you go under the comments, the comments are not about the video. It's random fucking videos that have nothing to do with the video. It's the most annoying thing. You may maybe So that thing is deliberate. It's deliberate, clearly. Because they they want you to just watch videos and go oh, and just keep scrolling. Keep, yeah, oh, yeah. this is nice. Go oh, down the rabbit hole. A rabbit hole of oh. some sort. You know what I mean? And I think they literally just they're getting outsmarted on their own game, like on social media, and TikTok is thriving. It's way ahead of 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 of, of all the other platforms. And also, mind you, there is a lot of like I know a lot of people was like, I'm maybe I'm not on TikTok, it's full of stupid things, but there's a lot of great information, you know, on TikTok, you know? If like you want a video that's debunking what's happening between Israel and Palestine, sure. you're most likely gonna find Definitely. it on TikTok. You know what I mean? And now in China, the algorithm in is fact, also. TikTok a bit is different. becoming the new Google, guys. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of like great and in China, the algorithm is very different. Mm. In China, because Chinese are about that, like, you know, discipline and information, education. A lot of the stuff on TikTok that happens here, like stupid, like a scomot that wouldn't blow up in China, for example. Mm. You know, and I'm more hated on the guy. But for example, because the algorithm is different. They, oh, is it? TikTok, yeah, it's, yeah. No, they the, push a lot of the information, informational part of TikTok. Bro, the Chinese are smart, man. So fuck uh, America. The, the guy, there's a guy... Uh, in China, we started grinding. To America. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm in Z. Then I'm like, hey, hey, man, don't show me this when I'm trying to enter. And I'm <laughs> this you, sir. Are you saying fuck America? <laughs> yes, you were saying? I was saying there's a guy who started grinder. You know the uh, dating the, app for the, 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 gays and for LGBTQI LGBT, yes, 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 for yes. dating. So yes. it's a Chinese guy who started it. Oh wow! And then he sold it to an American company. But the crazy thing is that that app is banned in China. Yeah, China doesn't play, bro. Yo, that's China, crazy, anything bro. that's like they they don't believe in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it won't fly. Yeah, like a lot of things are banned. Porn, dude. A lot of things. It's like they having like, a nah. Chillers Punch new variant, but you haven't tasted it. You know. Yes. Yeah. But you're selling it to the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like TikTok. Let me pause it, please. Oh, TikTok. Open works. a can, please. Pause it. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For real. Uh, yeah, no, no, you're right, so man. These guys are bullies, man. Yeah, yeah it's, it's literally a bullying tactic, bro. And it's, it's it's like so fucked up. It's literally that. So what happened with the internet in SA? Like, was it down like for how long? How long was it done for? Uh, I don't know. But there were uh, it's the cables. What happened with the cables? So there's cables, um, undersea cables mm. that uh, uh, give us the internet. Mm. You know, um, like a few, four, five or something, or nine of them, literally. And a lot of, like, companies that are, like, Microsoft that have cloud services. Like, you know, with Microsoft now, you can have a Word, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. on the cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excel. Then there's know. Outlook, yeah, which yeah. was also down. Um, so something had happened, a uh, disturbance with the cable. So maybe some ship dropped an anchor, Shit. hit the cables at the bottom, and then it disturbed the internet. Did someone say it's still going to happen? So I heard someone say it's still going to happen, yeah. It's not, it's not the first time it has happened. No. The undersea cables have been out before. At some How point. do they like put those cables under the sea? That's a good question. I've, I wonder. Do you think we'd survive internet shedding? Ah, 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 Now don't give them ideas. Hey, man. Ah, We've become so reliant on it, bro. Bro, we'd lose our minds, eh? Yo, okay. We'd have to go back to talking to our neighbors and. <laughs> hey, talk. <laughs> go back other to being kids. human. Go back to being human. Bro. It's crazy, right? Yeah. And it's scary how reliant we are on it. Yeah. Because like, you can't get shit done. Work, nothing. You can't. You can't send an email, can't send an invoice. You can't get stuff sent to you. This show wouldn't be up. Yes. Yeah. It's crazy. Bro. Yo, the show wouldn't be yeah. up. Woo. Yo. You didn't see that, eh? Hey? Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah. We'll shoot it just for ourselves, dog. Like the good old days. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> We it got is. a hundred and then, views. <laughs> and then you'd have to send it to SABC yeah. to put it up. What else? 
<laughs> you can't broadcast it. You can't get it out there to the That's mass insane, audience. Man. Anyway, Ghost Lady, what you got for That's us? Wild. I feel like we've been depressing the past 15 minutes. What you got for us? Um, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, some inspiring news mm. on happy marriages or marriages that are about to t- start. Ah, marriages. <laughs> 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 this your is bo- my fight. Honey. Your boy, uh, Kaspar, your best, <laughs> is getting married to his oh. childhood friend, Upulani. So oh. the traditional wedding is set to take place um, uh, in April. Yeah, because it wasn't meant to be this weekend, but someone leaked it. Yeah, they leaked I the, think all so. the details and stuff. So they changed it because it's leaked. Yeah. Oh, shame. Yeah. Well, imagine they- who the fuck in your circle would leak something like that, dog? That's so, like, weird, man. I think ah, people, people maybe share. I think maybe it's someone shared an invite and then obviously... To the girl. Maybe to the group. You know, it's like, oh, guys, look, Gandhi, you've got also wicked, you know, maybe family. It, it may not necessarily or... be someone within the group. Like someone within the group maybe said, hey, baby, uh, Satungis, our Casper's getting married. And then your papa, mm. that girl, just sent yeah. it to her friends. And guys, is, 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 is Babes and Zuma dating? Oh, is that Zuma? Jacob Zuma. No, not no. Jacob Zuma. <laughs> No. Zuma, I'm a roto. Oh, I'm a roto. I'm a roto. Yeah, hey, news about it. Serious? News about it. So that guy. News about it. Uzuma. Oh, no, I'm a yak. News about it. Yeah. Oh, babes. Oh, I've got babes. Oh, babes. Yeah. I'm a yeah. shark, babes. I'm babes. I didn't see a performance in Derby, man. How was the performance? Yeah, I saw it just b- b- backstage. Yeah. Was it nice? Before she got on. I thought it was amazing. It was oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Does she still have it? Nah, she still, still got, got it. it. Yeah, she still has it. Man, oh, let's go, babe. I, I wish babes. I love babes, man. I like, yeah. I wish her the best, man. I really want to see her flourish, I'm, I'm man. Happy to just hey, see her Hello. All oh, right, Sarasam. Yeah, babe. I'm done, man. Right, man. You live on podcast and chill. So Penduke is here. Ghost lady is here. I'm a shop, babe. See, I'm a basically. I'm a I'm a shop, babe. So two more. <laughs> Whatever he said, yes. <laughs> hey, I'm a peps. Hey, hey, I'm a peps. I'm gonna pick the. Hey, I'm a peps. So, 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 turn us up. Funu wa zuguti. We na no, 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 no zoom. We skip it. We maroto. We cut ana. Ubani. Uzoom. Uzoom. Mshalos. Indo. Then I'm a kanda mabi. Aye, bo. Aye, I'm a naplo. Oh, your friends on him. Yeah. Your friends. So now we go to Monday. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I saw his status is all about Instagram. Uchi, oh, I'm again. Hello, yeah, but I'm going to say this is all about one banana zoom. Uchi, oh, again, you go Instagram. Shoot in the boy, you should talk about my work. Hey, Baba Mutaro Mazuma. So, I get a yes, and Okay. Got to look at one Vimbi Pelu with him. So I want to tell you. I am not Wait, so the last man you're with, like sexually, you man pinja. I bought pages. 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 I no, 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 so much in Boshi, we in. I go meaning about some minutes at a quick. Okay, I'm back So it means I'm just in Shaila. I am a child. We are 
I know, Peps. Mr. Bong, are cool for coming through to the Durban Live Nation uh, podcast we did. Thank you, man. We appreciate you, man. We love you so much. Manchester says, I need to go, Mina. Now, I go and I look for me, Sunday. Who was it? I look at the Kum Kum. Enda, very me. You to remember, I'm going to go to the river. Look who can I? Okay, let's take it back. What did she say happened? I didn't hear with the lady with the dresses. Sorry, now we'll cut you. you, you. Uh, let's go to the lady with the dresses. What happened? I didn't hear that. Oh, okay. The story is that. So the, apparently the, the, the dancers, they went to the designer to collect clothes and then there was an altercation or something. Yeah. Mm. So babes left, went to there with her dad mm. to go to the designer to ask about like what happened, basically mm. to inquire. Yeah. And then next minute this woman said, um, what about uh, you? You're a whore of a widow. Yeah, basically a whore of a, a widow. Basically. Yeah, yeah, called her that. In front so of her dad. Ooh, yeah, it's it's fair, baby. It's fair, it's a fellow guy. Yeah, it's fair, it's a fellow That's bad. Yeah. Yes. A widow. A widow. Yeah. Oh, no, that's bad. And then Sfebe, you know what that yes, is. Yes, yeah. yes, So that was okay. just very rude. Oh, oh, yeah. And then I think an, uh, 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 an altercation ensued she said oh. that after that. She said, yeah, but, but she didn't, she didn't on, attack. We know. Yeah. Up, she didn't people. attack. She was, yeah, she was just there with her dad. Okay, what else you got yeah. for and us? Then, and then, then, and then, what? then about, there's a lady with the red hair. There's a lady with the red hair. Wait, that you're, that you're uh, that uh, inquiring yeah. about. Mina? Babes, uh, babes, uh, friend. Forget, hello, babes. Yeah, babes friend who had a red wig that you were like really inquiring yeah, about. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. So like, Wrong guy. But uh, me and Tibla look the same. Uh, <laughs> ah, wrong guy. Uh, hey, man. I, mean, I wasn't even backstage with yeah. her, dog. Hey, man, if babes said it, bro. We, we. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and the following week you're all red. So yeah. we, 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 we don't know what's going on, bro. We don't. We're like, hey. <laughs> nah, wrong guy, man. Wrong guy. Anyway, what you got for us? Yeah, well, that actually that the story was the babe story. So at, at oh, least, for real? Oh, oh dope. Real. Nice, yeah. nice. Oh, so it man. was it was very nice. There, so too. her and Zuma not fucking. She said. Mm, yeah, nah, okay. definitely something on the group me i don't know much about drip guys mara please tell me is this drip or not is that what? you what fry it's not drip I can tell you that <laughs> for free i can tell you yeah, you know it's, ba- ah, it's, it's balenciaga so balenciaga is dropping this oh my goodness take take a look take a look on your phone balenciaga. is this drip guys oh. is this drip i saw i saw what balenciaga is doing it's bad is this drip uh make a concert just eat a boy uh, is this drip guy? No, I saw it. I just see it now. It's mm. a video. Oh, damn. Why is yeah, it? Yeah, major leagues are going to be wearing these. Yeah, it's going to be bear, battle between major league and Musa, Musa Keys. Musa Keys, Who's going to yeah. get these first? Yeah. And Fouk. 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 <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Drip or nah? Nah. nah it's not, it's not. <laughs> but we know the three that look, guys that we've mentioned are Ashim. They'll be Remember wearing Musa this. Keys in Pulukwan? He was wearing some funky ass shoes, man. Nah. That is weird. I, it, it, it has its people. Mm. In fact, if you watch the whole show at Balenciaga, that's when you just see like What's weird it? fashion. You're like oversized jackets. You're like. This is not design. You know, it's nothing. You're basically just, it's like me wearing soul's clothes. 
You know, obviously they'll just hang and then it's like walk through the. Are you sure they'll just hang? Ah, oh. oh, I'm asking. I felt that oh. in my guts. I'm, I'm asking. I felt that like oh. through the guts. <laughs> yes. Through the guts. Like, I felt yeah. that. Through all <laughs> the guts. Mbuseli Maliake, so you can buy jokes. Mbuseli Maliake, I don't think I'm a pants. Are you sure it's going to happen? Is that the question? <laughs> So remember, uh, okay, so, so it's Penduka. on Pinjala only, or maybe it's a hip scene, ne? Mm. Penduka, remember you went here for the episode, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, that we did with the president's advisor. Yeah, when you guys formed a party, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That one. So in that episode, we mentioned that the president must go to the stadium for the Soy to dance. Yes, he went there, right? Yes, yes. We yes. mentioned that the three fifty is not too much. Now they've increased them to three seventy. <laughs> Twenty rand, Mike. Yeah. Hey, let me finish. So we're in the parliament. <laughs> <laughs> We're <laughs> influencing decisions. <laughs> and then, uh, employment of illegal and undocumented foreigners, we spoke about on the show. It's now an offense, a punishable offense by law. It's always been, though. No, no, no. It got enforced after the episode. Mm. Give yeah, it's always been. Give just not program. enforced. <laughs> Give me the progress. Are you for real? Yeah, I kid you so, not. All the waiters and everybody is legal, like, uh, is not legal, blah, blah, but they've got, like, yeah, they're legal. Technically. Now? Yeah. No, no, no. The law has just been passed to say that if you hire someone who's uh, an illegal and undocumented foreigner, you can be punished. It's an offense. <sighs> it's always been. Uh, it's just maybe not enforced, but it's always been. Yeah, well, it was enforced after the episode. Yeah, because it's illegal. <laughs> it's illegal to be illegal, so. <laughs> You can't do anything <laughs> if you're illegal, technically. So, and I thought, does your helper have my paper? <laughs> uh, my helper's South African, but she has a very strong Zimbabwean accent. But she's South African, she says. Oh. So, 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 hey, I'm not a fire. So, hey, hey, I'm, you know, she got the ID number. I haven't inquired. I'm not going to go to home affairs and check. To be honest, to be, and that's the... A lot of South Africans won't do it. You don't want to take and go to a home affairs to check. Mm. You know what I mean? Like... You want someone going to do a great job, they do a splendid job, mm. and you're like, oh, okay, this is good. I like this, you know? Mm. Uh, let's be honest, guys. You have a help. Have you checked her <laughs> status as, as a South African citizen? She's a Lesotho. She's from Lesotho. Have mm. you checked? Oh, yeah. that she's legal? Yeah, she's legal. She'll give you something that says she's legal, but you don't know if it's legit. Yeah. See, so a lot of people won't. So I don't know. She's South African. She mm. says that. Uh, hey, man, she, she cleans well. Man. Yeah, exactly. She cleans well. Yeah. So what are you saying? This bill, now I'll be, it's an offense for me. Yeah. yeah you can't hire someone. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if they say, here are my papers, then what do you want to say? You know what oh, I mean? Like, I get you. Yeah. But you don't want to go to home affairs and chill. Let's we be honest. We don't think that one through. It's man. just cumbersome. No one's going to, people just want their house cleaned, their pots washed. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll tell the president, clean that one. I'll tell him to clean my, clean my, clean my. No, 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 it's fine. It's, it's fine, no, that it's one. It's fine, yeah, okay. but not, none of us is going to check, you know? <laughs> what else must I tell the president, guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah, give what it else to me, do you give want it to me. What else do you want? <laughs> I wish my woman listened to me like the president does. Ah, <laughs> you, you, you. That's what's our trend, away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Penduka, what else you want to talk about? But no, bro, your Spoo's numbers. Can we call him? Spoo said, DJ Spooda. Yeah, Spoo said, Spoo said, I want him to explain this. Uh huh. And then afterwards, we like niggas down. Yeah, I can't get my name. I'm from the DJ Spoo. Spoo said, How is it that when you multiply nine with any number, the answer will always be nine? He meant the sum. He meant the sum. Okay, okay, nine times 348. What's that? Let's calculate. Nine no. times 348. Hey, Spuda! Wait, ho! Hey, Spuda! you live on the podcast, man. DJ, I mean, uh, uh, So Penduka's here, Ghost Ladies here. Martin, Martin, Martin. Hi, DJ Spoo. Hey, how are you, how you guys doing? Wait, wait! Fair as Buddha. Chapo was an enemy, the son of the end boy. I'm stuck born at you, me and daughter. But uh, it's fine. Oh, dude, what do you mean? That, what what, what, what did you mean? What did you mean when you said 
Uh, when you multiply nine with any number, the answer will always be nine. Because nine times zero is Hello? zero. How is that going to be nine? I don't think you can hear you. Any Sorry. Did you hear him, Spoo? Did you hear him? He says, what do I mean when I say what? Yeah, any digit times by nine is always going to get you to nine. It's always going to be nine. Hello? Spura, let me try to call you because I'm calling via WhatsApp now. Let me try to call him yeah, yeah, directly. Yeah, bad here. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. someone... I gym with Spoo, by the, the way. The cable's under... I gym's at, at, at my gym. Even Spoo's pure Shabalala, that one. Um, Some pure Shabalala? Yeah, he gym's there. I Swim that day, I was like... That's some fancy-ass gym you got, bro. Mm. No, no. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just everybody lives around. Not available at gyms, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Mem- yeah, members, like who's a humble guy? He's not a VIP guy now. Oh, you know? yeah. Hugs trees, wears <laughs> Afro clothes, <laughs> Afro and stuff. It's not like a gassy gym, though. It is. It is actually. Nah, man. In Zimbabwe, I'm a cop. Ah, something wrong with the internet today, man. Can see my my gains, though. My guns are coming out. Huh? Can you yeah, see my Yeah, I can see. We can see, see you. Yeah. I see you. Sex, man. Yeah. No, you are losing, so. <laughs> I'm not losing, but I'm getting muscle. Yeah. Shout out to, by April, we'll see April. So my trainer, my, my personal trainer's name is April. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm also a personal trainer. <laughs> yeah, so by April, you'll see April. <laughs> <laughs> April Mugella, that's my trainer. Shout out to him, man. <laughs> April Mugella. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's not answering anymore. I don't know what's ah, going on, man. Who's the Uting team? So he said that when you multiply nine by nine, yeah. it's going to be nine. So, do, do you seem to have a grasp <laughs> on what he said? What the fuck it. does that even mean? I do get it. I get what he means. He, I think he meant the whatever number you multiply uh, by nine, the sum of that number will give you a nine. That's what he means. So multiply nine times... Uh, nine. Okay, let's try, try this. Nine times zero. It's uh, zero. Uh, not zero. Zero. Uh, except zero. Zero is a number, but, though. But except zero. Let's do other numbers. I think that's what he meant. Okay. Nine times... Whatever nine. number. 800. No, 8,999. <laughs> you said nine times what? 8,999. Eight, 8, nine times what? Nine times 8,999. Or oh, 200,000. Nine times 200,000. So, so the, the answer is 80,991. And all those numbers, ne? you're going to say eight plus one, nine. you get a nine. There's a nine and a nine. That's what he meant. Oh, so it's called conditions depending on what number. Yeah, he just didn't expand. No, it's the same thing. Use any you other said number. Use the sum of, okay. Use, yeah, use any, any other any number. Guys, use any other nine number. Th- nine times... Don't use Triple millions. five. Okay, double five. Nine times 55. There it's you have four, it. four, nine, five, the answer. Five, four plus four is nine, and then you have other nines. Nine, four plus nine, four is nine. not nine, man. Ah. Four plus five, ah, guys. Ah. Four plus five, it is nine. I was wondering four, five. Four, what do you... Ah, I guess one and nine. <laughs> four, four plus five say, is nine. It is weird. Four oh, plus shit. nine is nine. nine. And then you get God. triple nine. Nine, okay, nine, four, nine. That's so that what he four made. And five. Four plus nine, five is nine. And then there's and other then the nines. Nine nine. I think that's what he was trying to say, that you're going to get the nines. Nine, nine, nine. Do you get it? Nine, nine. Nine, nine. nine, nine. nine, nine. nine, nine. nine, nine. It's straightforward. It's the nine thing. I am good with that. Shit. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so that's what he meant. So he meant, because yeah, 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 nine times three is 27. Two plus seven two is nine. Plus, oh, I get nine it. Nine times 45 is four, five. And four, four plus, plus five, five is nine. nine. And then zero is zero. Oh, oh shit. Nine times? Give Any me that. Ten. Ten is nine. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Yeah, that is weird. So what's up with the number? But nine is like that because even when you times nine, it's like eighteen, 18 and then it drops. one one plus eight. Yes, and then it drops to 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 twenty seven, thirty six, forty five, wow. fifty three. It drops. Nine always has like a trick to it. Oh shit! 
Anyway, uh, Mike's been cooking. Do you want to hear his screenshots? Oh, oh, oh. Do you want to hear Mike's screenshots? Yeah. Oh, please, yeah. please. Let's check please. it out. Okay, oh. Let me find that. Let's oh, bro. MT, MT take is suing Mike's kitchen. <laughs> yeah, Funny so, enough. So, so, I so, heard so. Mike's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> MT suing Mike's kitchen. They kicked him out. Because they didn't allow him access to the restaurant because it smells like weed. And he's got too many tattoos. So he's taking it to court. Is he's that a beefing. real thing? Yeah, he's beefing on Mike's kitchen. I don't oh, know if DJ Spoo is calling. Let's oh, continue. yeah. Smuda, let me call him back. Oh, he says I'm here. Sorry, we got cut off. <laughs> well, I wonder when people see missed calls, they come back, they call back to say who doesn't call? Who, who, who doesn't? Ah, take a guess. Who? Take a guess. Ah, uh, Naledi. It's, it's Naledi, right? Oh, Naledi. Naledi. Yeah, she didn't call back. That's what normal people do. Making us for Mike in Genoa, much. You know, my mic back. Are you not in our way? The screenshots are wacko, they're not my Buddha. Hola. Ah, we don't need you anymore. We solved it. Oh, you solved it? Yeah, we solved it. Do to solve it. Eh, uh, yeah. Hello? It was the nine thing. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So, what's special about the number nine, though? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me put it this way. Um, people who follow new new more new more It's a new word. It's fine. It's a new word for you. Take time. Number numerology. New year. Yeah. Uh, num numbers have got a certain meaning in life. Astrology, numerology. Numerology numbers uh, for a certain significant. Oh man! What, what does triple nine subject. mean apart from ukapingo? I'm, I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you context. I'm trying to give you context so you can understand the importance of numbers and so you can understand why a number like nine is special. Yeah. It, there's something magical about the number because when you multiply with any number, the place values of the original number are always preserved. Like the, even if maybe let's say you're in the hundreds or even in the tens or even in the ones, even if it can be number 254 times nine or number whatever, eventually when you take the many, oh, and it took it's special for the number nine. It's not like any other number, but people must also follow the significance of numbers in our lives and nature and what numbers mean in our lives. And I know people have got different belief systems, but numbers are more important than actually we think. Hey Amen. So that's too deep, man. We're just trying to survive, my yeah, man. Yeah, man. I just, just like we just. I just <laughs> multiplied nine. I just multiplied nine by three nine six, right? And it got me to yeah. three five six four. But when you take take all those digits and add them up, it's nine. Not no no no. When I when I add a few up, like the combination, so the answer is three five six four. When I add three with six six, it's nine. Five with four is nine. That's crazy. That's crazy. And the conclusion is basically the the, the number nine itself is a very interesting phenomenon that I would like to encourage people to go read up on, not only on the number nine, but on the significance of numbers in our lives pertaining to the universe, the earth, and what basically numbers mean. Like, oftentimes you'll see, you'll see double one, double one, like 11, 11. There's a certain meaning for that. Or you'll see triple seven, or you'll see five, 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 five. Like, numbers have got a certain meaning, and there's people... A, a, a better explanation as far as that's concerned. But uh, I think it's an interesting topic and big up to you guys for covering it. I hope it inspires somebody out there to sort of go look it up, but it's got a very relevant um, significance, significance in our lives. So people need to understand what numbers mean in their lives. But then again, it falls down to also your own belief system. Mm. Yeah, it must start number of the day. You know this word of the day. It must start number of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know a gentleman by the name of um when the who was the guy on 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 not power the other one um the one by Lee Daniels he's an incredible Hollywood actor Terence Howard right Terence Howard yes 
I remember that clip. Terence Howard, yes. <laughs> Ah, Spuda. Spuda, we're losing you there. Can you just repeat? Sorry, man, we lost you there. The network is a bit bad, man. It's terrible. It's the cables under the sea. Mm. Ah, Spuda. Ah, that's Spuda. Ah. ah, Spuda. Have you guys checked your notes? Zeg, zeg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm saying, I'm saying, you're not saying, I'm saying, I'm not saying, I'm trying to do so. Have you guys checked your numbers? What numbers are we checking? No, I'm just like, have you, have you, like, literally, like, tried this concept of numbers in your life and like you know the numbers maybe like using the dates you are born, you know what's your favorite number. You've we're never. Just to, we're just trying to survive and no, live, man. What is that? I love seven. I I feel like my, my, my number. Seven's my number as well. Yeah. My number is seven mm. Mm. because Why? I was. How's it your number? Like I was born on the seventh of November. Oh, mm. that's like what seven eleven. Seven eleven, yeah. Yeah, that's your your seven eleven. Yes, yes. I'm oh. the fourteenth, but Which obviously. Which up to nine. Huh? Yeah? I'm the 18th. It's eight minus one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mac, Mac, what? Seven and plus 11. Seven. But I'm the 18th. It's one plus eight. 18 February. One plus eight, nine. nine. What's no, your no, birth date? No, my birthday is no, 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 no. the, the 14th of July. No, no. 14th of July. Yes. Hey, so obviously that one. it's a seventh. No, it's the seventh month. July is the seventh month. 14 is seven double. And I was born in 87, obviously. Eight, seven. So I feel like I'm like, because and biblically, <coughs> seven is the um, number of completion. You know, remember, um, we've got seven days a week. On the seventh day, God rest after he completes I'm a bit of Oh, seven. <laughs> seven. Yeah, well. so, on the songs. So seven. I feel like I'm mm. very, seven. very aligned with number seven. Yeah, I like that too, man. Yeah. So you take time, break down your, you know, your numbers around your, your birth. The days, body and count, all that stuff. Yeah, put them all together. Put the them all together. To You'll be surprised. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Seven. <laughs> seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Terrence Howard, he was going. Terrence Howard, remember he trended for that math thing. I think it said like one. He 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 proved or posted a proof that one times one equals two. Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is Mike. He's been cooking this week, mm. Penduk. Uh, signs that you are not important. No good morning, baby. No good night from her. Women make, make effort when they are in love and want to keep. Everybody does, though. Mm. Everybody makes effort when they're in love. Let's be honest, Mike. Mike is not cooking, man. Mm. Yeah. Everybody makes effort when they are in love. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next one. This is a microwave. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> oh my God, microwave. My, that's why it's a microwave. You know? <laughs> Who microwave? It's a microwave. Yeah, at, big. At, at family gatherings, if you don't have a car or not money, you won't be listened to. God have mercy on our black beings. They're cursing and bewitching each other, not forgetting, belittling one another. True. Nah. Yeah, very, yeah. True. Very. Yeah. You're yeah. fine. So if you have money... If you've got money, no, but uh, uh, general in society, yes, there is that thing. But at the end of the day, sometimes at family gatherings, the people who understand, you know, the culture and the ways of what has to happen are people who may not have money, but they are listened to a lot of times because they have understanding, they have the knowledge of, you know, they they actually direct. Because remember, those who've got money, they in the city, they'll come back. It's the guys from, you know, who are from the village or from home who don't have much would be the ones who actually guide the process. Oh, so if you have yeah. money and you can no, slide well, some more, you're no, a triple no. threat. No. But, but, but no. you see, the, if thing, you have money, the thing is... you'll just be on, buying beers and you'll be appreciated and be called Mlungu, eh, Basi, whatever, but, all of those. But, but do you see what someone who doesn't have money within the family needs to be able to do to get heard, listened to, and respected. They need to be able to slaughter. They need to know what yes, each so that yep. person will be given that respect. Thank you. But someone with money just needs to have the money. Yeah, but you have the money, but at the end of the day... guy practically earned it, the respect. Yes. The other guy has just got money, and he's just going to say, yeah, but we are my man. The other guy... Like- 
is listened to, mm -hmm. but needs to know the ways of the family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that guy, so it proves the point you're trying to disprove because that guy needs to do all these things to get that. Yeah. And they still oh, won't listen to him. The other guy just needs to come with his bends. Mm. No, but I feel like both, both people are valid because at the end of the day, M7C is what? Needs money. <laughs> Let's be honest. Doing what of all these ceremonies needs money. So the guy when you name Mali, siak ding. Ah, but be honest, because they don't have money, they treat you different. They and you, do, you, and you can that be, and that guy can be an idiot, mind you. He can be an idiot with the money. He can be the most crass, rude guy, mm. but respected because of the money. See? Ah, but guys, in these families that people get called out, like what kind of families are you in? You no, know? it's war oh. umlungwe to ears. Guys. They don't say Lomunda Ah, That's why everybody must have money. Then you'll treat people on who they are as opposed to what they have. But we're not you know? always like, the like, same way, like, like with, with friendship circles. Yeah. Right? When everybody has money, everybody's frank and honest. When it's one guy or two guys, then Things revolve around those two guys. Everybody else watches their words, what they say to those two guys, because we're not going to eat or drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but when everybody's got money, everybody can call one another out. Oh, like, oh, you're full of shit, bruh. Like, that shit you did was wrong. It was foul. And they can be held accountable, too. True. No, but so I that's why, as families also, we must all work towards that goal. Then it won't be like... Ooh, because we are He's cooking. cooking. You are cooking. Cook. You You're cooking. You're cooking. But you my thing is, whenever you the man is going to tell him, him. Out, like, yo, come here. You've been cheating on your wife, and even worse, you've been doing some foul shit, and everybody calls him out. Because it's not like he's needed for something. When you have money, they supply you with the wife to cheat on. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, they, they, they push you. Hey, they promote the aunties are like, hey, look at my daughter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cooking. let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. This is his lived experience. <laughs> it's a lived experience. <laughs> no, but guys, yeah, no toxicity. There can be toxicity sometimes within mm. those spaces, even with family, in society generally, even with family. And he's right. In 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 a lot of like, I don't know. I'm not Jewish. I'm not white. Yeah. I can only speak for you know. I've seen it. It, it happens. Mm. Half the times I'm on my way to I would buy or body. The answer comes up. His family. Obviously. A lot of times. Mm. But how often is it true, though? Many times. A lot. A lot. Because how can you be loyal by someone who doesn't know you? Yeah. Yeah. Because mm. the, the, there's that thing, Uti, school song, or that thing of... The, there's a, a, a point of reference, Uti. Ule nila. And there's a history behind it. And a lot of times it's family or people you grew up with, even if it's not family. But, but, because he's got more money. Because I'm mad from a bar of soap. It's the people who know you from sharing that bar of soap. Which how we used to share a bar of soap, but manje. You own the soap factory, <laughs> you know, mm. and that's a problem. <laughs> it's like, true story. I, get, story. I get those true valid story. reasons. Um, like I'm also, I always, always want to highlight the <laughs> reasons where people go and say, you know, you go to consult and say, um, okay, um, buy a lawyer, and then your reasons are actually, it's like maybe you are just, it's you are the issue. It's not a band. Yeah, sometimes a lawyer, those. really. Yes. yes. Sometimes, really. You, you fuck then, up your own life. But then this lawyer. is what happens. I've seen the families break down is that umuntu that you go consult to will say, no, buy a lawyer, Kaya, or no coco, or no, no, baba, buy a lawyer. And then now you have beef, whereas the issue is, you are the problem. Yeah, but I'm talking on the basis of real, like people about Kola, real Sangom. It's not mm. like fake people who are going to give you misinformation. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm basing my argument on legit. 
Like if you call a legit people who know what they say. You got money, can you do they treat Mnaga different? Yeah, 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 yeah. You ask Kevin Gobba Mnaga. No, Gagwas. But when he, but he's respected like Yawas we have. No, this is why I'm saying, guys, for me, from what my observation, it's that obviously people are not gifted the same way. And there are people who have got more than what he has. And I feel like whenever they are all together, it's like there's a there's a sense of like just kind of like Everyone is respected, even though when now you could just be a construction worker, mm. even though so everyone hey, shots, has a role. Shots, why are you nodding your head so much? No, because hey, maybe, shots is maybe, <laughs> he loves this one. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe he's from a family that's, I don't see that's alive. Car, so things have changed. <laughs> when it goes to family gatherings, now it's like how <laughs> they no longer you know, see him. Yeah, you know? no, they no, no longer see him. Now. So that's, that's why that's kind, why I'm yeah. like for that part of the way it's like. Guys, everyone is valued in a family, even my own family. There's always a sense That's of beautiful. everyone is important. Whether it's you beautiful. have, whether you don't, it's okay. We're all equal. We are, and yeah. we are. We generally are. Yeah. So family, just, that, that practice yeah. must be pushed as well. I told you, Tato, Mike is cooking. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's another one. Yeah, there's another one. Mike's hey, kitchen. Mike's kitchen. What's going on in Mike's kitchen? Yeah, this is Mike's kitchen. Mike's kitchen. What's going on? <laughs> this is the segment. What's going Mike's on in Mike's kitchen? Yeah, this is Mike's kitchen, the segment. Uh... You think you have friends. Wait till you lose your car, money, or job. You even develop a funny smell. <laughs> you, you even develop a funny smell? Yeah. <laughs> Shots. <laughs> but but I feel I feel like that's more You're not of, nodding for this, ne? <laughs> I, I've never experienced that, to be honest, right? Because everyone who I've called a friend generally was a friend. When right. you were at your low, didn't you lose friends? Didn't you see people kind of like... I didn't lose friends. I detached myself from friends. I'm like that. Oh. I was like, fuck it. I need to figure this shit out. You know, let me move to Hillbro and not tell anyone and not be accessible to oh, anyone. You once lived in Hillbro, for God. Hey. Hey. Cool, boy. Because he's rich hey. now. Hey. 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 Chilling with oh. Samizi and them. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh. Next time I'm in Didi's house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't chill with Samizi. I don't know some music. I don't know if some music is Damba. Yeah, but um, <laughs> but genuinely, genu the guys I had as friends, you know, I'd like to believe are, are solid people. It's it's also a reflection on you, though. The friends that you picked. Like, you know, Mac, as, as a podcaster, someone in the entertainment industry, how many people want to be friends with you in the game who are like, hey, what are you doing? Let's chill. Hey, hey. And you can tell that it's going to be this thing that you're trying to build. It's going to be based on the fact that I'm famous, you're famous. You know? And to me, that's not a basis of friendships. And sometimes in Chomana Nabanga, on bitches, on cars, you know, the people who are all friends and they all drive Mini Coopers or they all drive a certain brand of cars. Then you're surprised when you lose your shit, then they're not there anymore. So it's also a reflection on you and the friends that you attract and people you make friends with on the basis you make those friendships. I've had the same friends since high school, so it doesn't apply to me. Yeah. When you were down, though, they were there for you. Yeah. Exactly, because the friendship is built on something real, mm. on friendship. It's not built on, oh, you're also a podcaster, I'm a podcaster. Let's move together and become fr and forge a friendship, right? It's real friendships. This but Shimsa stop booking Industry me. friendships. I don't know if that counts. Because the industry is like that, bro. It's mm. like... Shimsa stop booking Was he your high school friend, though? No. No, no, no but we're friends. friends. I put him in at YFM. Oh. So. Oh, shit. The no, white scale thing. Mac, Mac, yeah, you're you just there to open... The door for him. That's it. No, I'm saying that when I was at Y and I was popping, we were like this. And he booked me at all his shows. Mm. And then when I got fired, he didn't book me anymore. Like I stopped knowing how to DJ, you know? Because oh. you're as good. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, like when well, YFM said you're fired and we're taking away DJ talent. Because yeah. <laughs> oh. you're as good as you are useful in yes. the industry, in the yes. game. Yes, 100%. Yeah, and generally a lot of men are also as... There's a lot of people who wouldn't take our calls now if the podcast would go down and Ooh, down and yeah. under. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot. That's why like people want to forge friendships. And I'm like, to me, it's not even like, where were you when I was? No, it's just like, ah, bro, I see this thing. Now it's going to be based on, on on that I'm doing well, you're doing well. Now we're Okay, name start. and shame a friendship that you have If it's going to be business, it's business. That you know it's just because you're popping. All of them, man. Like... All of them. Man. A lot of people back for Taylor because you, you're doing well. Name it. Name, name. Give us an example. Just one person each. 
I'm not really friends with these guys, man. Like, I don't have those friendships. Yeah. Like, I genuinely don't. You don't see me. How many times do you see me post and say, "Hey, I'm 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 at uh, um, on a holiday. I'm with my friend, and it's a guy in, in, in the industry." Remember, I remember, remember. Wait, I'll give you an example. Remember when we called the Mandela kid? What's his name? Uh, Muso. Muso. When he answered, I'm like, "Yo, Muso, what's up?" Mm. He's like, yeah, how are you? I'm like, you live on the podcast. Like, oh, hey, you remember that? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. So if there was no podcast, his tone would still be, yeah, what do you want, my nigga? Like, what the fuck? Mm. Like, how can so, I help you? So that's we said, because yes. we said we're on the podcast, we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, what's up? And this applies not just because to only famous people, but even the guy with the three series and he's the only one who has it in the street. And then he becomes friends with certain people. Sometimes, bro, it's like, yeah, I was, so, I was talking to Brad Dave, right? And he had a guest on one of his shows. And he's like, yo, man, this guy is telling me about he got divorced five times and he lost women when he was out and he wasn't acting anymore. Then I was like, but that guy at some point, he should have realized that these women aren't marrying him for him. They're marrying him for his job. And sometimes, you know, as a guy, Guti, the woman I'm with or the woman that I'm having a thing with mm. likes me because I've got this. Oh, yeah. There's even rooms. I'm this. Even with friendships. There's like even that. rooms I know if it runs for the podcast, oh, I wouldn't be allowed in this Yes. Room. Even in clubs, VIP, oh, I wouldn't be allowed yes. in this Oh, oh my God. Who's in the horse? We're drinking strap horse in Durban yeah. at, at Rockets. Yes. That shit wouldn't happen if Never. we were just anybody else. We're bring our own stuff that mm. we drink. That's you when you what develop what I mean? that smell. <laughs> yes. Oh. So Keep even with God. guys who then decide to, you can tell, dude, you know, deep, deep down, I'd like to think everybody knows when, Ooh, see, these are my friends or these are ice boys. Mm. Now, when you lose your car, your job, the money, of course the ice boys are going to bounce. What do you expect? Yeah. So it's more of a reflection on you when people start disappearing because you don't have X and Y anymore. You'd be a fool to think everybody around you is there for you genuinely. And and ignore the fact that this is what I have, and this is genuinely. But I love Ice Boys, man. They laugh at every around. joke. It's, it's amazing. I love them. It's a nice feeling. Oh, it's a good. I feeling. don't have, eh? Yeah, I know. Do you have? I don't have. Oh, man. Man. I'm man. sorry, I don't have Ice Boys. <laughs> and also, even when I do, I'll get my own eyes because I, I don't feel right sending a grown man for things and stuff, even though they're willing to. Mm. I just was like, oh, I must do what? Not, something not like, cool. you know, Griselda yeah. at one of her parties. I don't know if you watched the show. <laughs> Blanco. Yeah, they Griselda came to Blanco. her party. So she was like the Don, King Don in Miami running yeah. shit. Yeah. So everybody bows down to her and she made people like strip. She's like, have sex. <laughs> and they said it. At a command. Yeah, at a oh, command. Yeah, geez. I must do that to my ice boys. Yeah. Uh, like, have sex. Uh, <laughs> strip. Strip. Uh, Smack your face. Uh, Talk to your stomach. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, uh, why did you say it's pure? Oh, it's pure not too so. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. The ice boys are not here. They come out at night <laughs> when the rider comes out. <laughs> hey, Cat Master. Ah! He's going he's gonna say, ah, you are gonna say Cat Master. Call that one. Cat Master. Cat Master, call that one. Cat Master. Nah, I don't like that dog. Show I don't like them. that. Nah, nah, nah. Cat Master's my boy, dog. I've known him for years. Uh. I've known him for years. Let's call him now. Who's like your ice that. boy though? No, I don't have eyes. I'm just it's, we're podcasting, my man. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, surviving my guys. But like, there are people you know that they are only there because you're Mac. Of course, of course, hundred percent. Like, I can see from a Mac mile G. away. Yeah, and I'm cool with that. Like I know. And you must always know that, mm. so that don't be a Mike. So that when you do, God forbid, things go wrong, mm. and those people go away. Don't be shocked or shattered. Hence, I said to Brad Dave that at some point, this guy should have known that. This woman are marrying him because he, he is who he is. Mm. At uh, second divorce, I stopped feeling pity for you because it's like, ah, oh, dog. You know what I mean? Sometimes you must just know that people are there, you know, because of who you are or what you have. That's true. 
You're a fool to think these people are your genuine friends. Friends will take a bullet for you. Yeah. And you're a fool to think these people will take a bullet for you because they love you or they will at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I've never had friends fleet because things are bad, you know? Because I don't just I don't just make friends, man. You know, just hey, sister Bangan, yeah, wearing the same shoes. We're friends now. Oh. I'm calling Cat. Shout out to Cat, man. We love Cat Master. Mm, I don't like Shout it. out to him to Durban, bro. Yeah, man. That's my nigga, bro. I know, bro. That's my guy. Yeah. Ah, he's not answering. Ah. Uh, you Shout out to Cat Master. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, he, is he getting ice? <laughs> yeah, he's going to get ice. He's going to get ice. Hey, man. What's right, man? You're going to get 20 kilograms. I'm going to get you right, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, anyway, uh, we need to chat to Rotimi. You know Rotimi from Power? Yeah. Oh, shit, Rotimi. Yeah, he reached out. He's a chiller. So he wants to talk about uh, the single with uh, Nasty C. Oh, shit, he's a chiller. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, him, shout man. out, bro. Let's Hate his him. character on Power. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, but remember the video? Yeah, remember the video I told you about? Um, oh, here's Cat. Here's Cat. Join Lucas Broski. Eh, hey, Poison. He plays that role. He acts. Punta. Punta. Ah, uh, the best winner. Ah, uh, easy dog. Listen, man, you live on the podcast. About you, I'ma see him. Bala, I'm talking. Bala, 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 I'm an ice wine. Hey, so hey, I'm an ice cube. 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 I'm an ice Yo, yeah, my man, you my boy, my man. You're crazy, everything. Why you taking my eyes? You're my boy. Man, you're crazy, everything. Exactly. What you doing? I'm not You're my boy. You're my boy. Hey. I'm not even going to be a little bit. Hey. You're not going to be a little bit. You're not going to be a little bit. You're Hey, Oh, I love you, my dog. I love you, my dog. Shout out, bro. <laughs> okay. All right, let's talk to the team here. Yeah? Inda Marimini, please welcome a special guest today. His name is Rotimi from Power. Rotimi! What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Yo. Hi, Butterscotch. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Hey man, why are you calling yeah, me Butterscotch? Yeah, Rotimi as a yeah, Butterscotch. Yeah, I like that better. I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what's your full name, man? Olu Rotimi Akiyosho. That sounds Nigerian, if I'm not mistaken. Probably Nigerian. Probably Olu Nigerian. Rotimi. Oh shit! So you grew up in Nigeria and then moved to the states, or you grew up in the states? Nah, some first generation Nigerian. But my parents moved here when they were 25, 27, and so I lived in the states my whole life. But I visited every summer up until I was like 18. So I've been back. I'm Yoruba and Igbo, so I'm both yeah. sides of that. So, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, So I'm very, very in tune with everything that's, out, that's going on out there. Listen, man, so this is just an introduction to uh, our chillers because we come into the U.S. in June and we want to do like a proper sit down yeah. with you, man, because you're massive out here. We love your work. So uh, hopefully we can chop Thank that you. up, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a great start. So, uh, reason we got you on, we want to chat to you about your single with Nasty C. That's our guy, man. Nasty C is like, yeah, yeah man. He's been on the show many times, twice already. Yeah, twice already, man. Yeah. Huge. He's a huge friend of the shows and he's just a big deal, yeah. as you would know. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's one of the best. You know, like, I only really gravitate towards real people in this industry, bro. So when, when the opportunity came about, when I made the record, when I made Sade, it was like, this is the perfect person, you know, to one, give 100% validity to the record. It's a, I'm a piano vibe. I know he's talented, but a lot of people haven't heard him do something like this, you know? So 
for me, it was just like, let's just bridge the gap, man. Let's just make some great music. And yeah, he's one of the good, one of the best people with a good heart, man. So it was easy just to work with him and, and make magic. And how did you guys get in touch? Like, did you just drop a DM or? No, we actually met when he was in the States out here. He came to Atlanta a couple years ago. And then we were both in the same studio. And um, I was like, yo, man, yo, I'm a fan of your work. And he was like, yo, I love your stuff too, man. Let's, let's, let's get up. Let's keep in contact. So we kept in contact a little bit. But then when I made the record, I was like, yo, let me just re re reestablish the relationship. And, you know, it's my dog. Like, he's, he's, he's a real one. And he's super talented. And that verse that he has on Sade is, is, is beautiful. It's crazy. We got an it girl. Oh, she's not really an it girl, man. Ooh. But a very famous lady from SA. Uh, she's very beautiful. And a lot of Americans have been DMing her. Are you one of them? <laughs> no, no, no. Her name is Mahu. I don't even know it's Mahu. Mahu. I don't, no, I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just yeah. making sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She claims Jay Z. Uh, not, not yeah, I'm pretty sure she's dope, though. I'm pretty sure she's dope, but yeah. <laughs> Bro, how, how did the song, like, what was the workflow of the song? Like, did you create, like, a chorus uh, and then send it to Nasty C? Or, like, and how did you choose him for this particular song? Well, the song is the I'm a Piano vibe. The song is, like, I wanted to mix R&B with I'm a Piano. Just something com completely different. Like, just bridge the gap. And, okay. and when I heard it, it was like, oh, I've heard him be melodic before. So when when I heard the song, when I heard the beat, it was like it was a no brainer just to like just shoot a shot and see if he he rocks with it. So he heard it and he was right away he was like, Yo, this is about to be a missile, bro. Thank you for having me on this record. That's what that was his first response before he even did anything. So when he did it, it was like, Okay, cool. Mind you, we're not in the same place. So I was like, Yo, let's shoot a, a in studio video while I'm here, you you in in, in, in South Africa. So Let's just shoot it so people can just see that, you know, we're vibing. Mm. And we did that so the video is out, the, the in-studio video is out as well. So it was just, I mean, again, man, God works in mysterious ways, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. I, I, sat, I, had the, I had the record for, for maybe six to eight months wow. before I even, like, really thought about, like, damn, dang, you know, this is who I need to work. But I, I did the record and we worked on so many songs that... You know, it's like, okay, the next one. But then I heard it, we heard it again, and I was like, oh, yeah, man, now she needs to get on this one. So does Ned Coon. So it was a no-brainer. Crazy, man. Listen, man, um, I mean, you've mentioned Ama Piano uh, quite a number of times. Um, w w what's the reception like regarding Ama Piano? Because we've been there, myself and Salt to America, once or twice. And we know with the diaspora, like, Ama Piano is massive. But the rest of, like, yeah. other black Americans, I don't know, like, how are you guys receiving it? Like, what's, what's the temperature like that side? Well, I think it's growing on people out here because... Um, TikTok is helping a lot. Wow. Funny enough. Like the, all the dances, yeah. all the culture. Well, they bought a band TikTok. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's not going nowhere. Man. Making too much money on TikTok to stop it. <laughs> don't, don't speak that. Don't speak that language over here, bro. But, uh, but, but nah, you know, um, TikTok really helps it. Um, again, like TikTok has made the world much smaller. So yeah. you start seeing all, yeah. all these dances and all that. People are like, oh, I love the artist. I love this rhythm let mm. me go delve in deeper yeah so i think that it's it's growing you know so and i feel like my 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 duty is to continue to bring and bridge the gap like that's what i did with love rhythm and in my bed like at that time in 2019-18 afro beats and i'm a piano and all these things were so new that I kind of brought it to the States with nice. in my bed. And, and Shout love rhythm, out. You know, and then, then the Wiz kids and the Davidos and all them started coming through. But it was like, that was that. So now I feel like my purpose also is to, again, show how amazing Africa is, you know, and, and, and bring that to the States as well. So now that I'm starting to see America, like Americans and all these little American white girls dancing to Sade. Wow. You know, you know, you know, so like it's it's working and it's happening, and then now also to bridge the gaps is like you know artists like Nasty C, who's an incredible lyricist, but you know a lot of people out here are still getting to know him. So now he's starting to build his fan base out here as well because of the record. So it's like sure. we're supposed to do this, man. We're supposed to bring and 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 set it up for the next generation.
Bro, beautiful man, man. God bless you, man. Yeah, man. Who else would you like to work with in, uh, in, from South Africa, bro? Bro, honestly, though, like, it's so it, it, it's a disservice if I just say, oh, I want to work, but I just want to work. I, no, like anybody who's super talented, bro. Wow. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not. And anyone, if you have a thousand followers, if you have a million, like, if the song is good, my mental space is, if the song is good, let's just make some some great music. So there's that's, a guy. That's why I'm at. So I wouldn't even. Huh? There's a guy called Kabza the Small, bro. Um, he's like the so? best. Pro- Kabza the Small. He's a really uh-huh. amazing producer. The he, best. He's the best piano producer, literally. He's the king of Amapiano. piano. Do check him out. And I think, yeah, if you really want to work with the best, uh, give him a, an ear. And Calvin Momo as well. Calvin Momo also. Mm. Calvin Momo, Kabza, they small. Just Google those names. They, uh, Drake wants to work with them. Drake, yeah, Drake. Uh, Drake uh, uh, even Drake has given a cosign to Calvin Momo. Um, that's how dope it is. So, okay. yeah, just give the guys a Google. Okay, cool. Perfect, bro. Perfect. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is so much talent, bro. So, like, yes. If, if you guys got the plug to him, too, after this, give me his information and we'll link it and, you know, we'll make it happen like this. Just as simple as that. Yeah, this guy called Pori, he's trash. Don't even don't even open his DMs. Yeah, yeah. When you record with Pori, hey, yo, have your own food, buy the electricity, bring your own, bring your own laptop also. Exactly. Uh, Remember these words. <laughs> bring your own laptop. Buy your own electricity. Bring your own food. Bring your own, bring your own blanket also. Yeah. If you want to go to the studio. Otherwise, it's a cool change. Don't overstay your welcome. <laughs> no, we're just messing with you, man. We're just kidding. Bro, Timmy, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much, bro. Anything else you want to say to your South African uh, fans? Because, you know, you got so many oh, fans. God, and I can't man. wait to see right. that side, man. Hey, bro, is that? I'm saying we can't wait to be with you one on one. You know, the yeah. Zoom thing, we don't really like it that much. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff to go over. There's a lot, you know, the in person vibe is going to be the way. So I'm, I'm grateful for this opportunity, man, just to even just talk like real quick. But yeah, no, nah, I mean, all my South African fans, man, I will be out there very soon. Stay tuned. Do your research on what's nice. going on. And, and um, I can't wait till June to really sit down and we can talk about life and all that cool stuff. Yeah, no, I love man. it, man. Before you go, ever been to a P. Diddy party, man? Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. What's going on? <laughs> Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> Have you ever gone through a moment of being swallowed? Feel like you're being swallowed in the Diddy party? <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. No, but shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, man. We love you long time, man. We'll see you when you come out there, all right? Peace, Road TV. <laughs> Peace out, Road TV. Right, shout out. Oh, by the way, bro, by the way, by, by the way, great job, man, on the Joyner Lucas video for Broski, bro. Oh, Fuck yeah. It. yeah. T- bro, bro. Bro, you're so talented, man. I think, I mean, I've seen you in power, but when I saw you play that role, like, you took that song to a different level, and it's a, a few times where a video can do that to a song. Yeah. You really, really Thank killed you. it, bro. Broski, shout out for that job, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, thank you, bro. I Easy, Broski. Man. All right. Easy, man. Take care, right, bro. Guys. Thank you. Love. Love. See, 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 see. All right, so, yeah. Uh, shout out to the team. You can tell you went to the PTD party. <laughs> He can swallow. <laughs> swallow. Swallow. Oh man, I can't wait to go to the US, man. It's gonna be crazy. I can't wait to go to Atlanta, bro. Yeah. All right, cool. So this is what's happening. So we're gonna land on the 28th of June. We're broadcasting live at the Shisanyama in New Jersey, right? Shout out, Shisanyama. And then we're gonna visit the DMV. We're gonna go to LA during the BT Awards. Yeah. And then we're visiting Dallas. And then last stop is Atlanta. Cool. But there is a link in the description box. Click that for all other information. But yeah, we're doing New Jersey, DMV, LA, Dallas, Dallas Atlanta. <gasps> We're getting swallowed. We're getting swallowed. We're gonna go to the swallow. We're gonna go swallow. We've ever been swallowed. How long are we gonna be there for? I think about two weeks. Two weeks? two weeks, yeah, yeah, yeah. About two weeks, man. It's about two weeks. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah, but bro, feels like we're gonna be doing the whole world. Yeah, it's gonna be but it's gonna be amazing, wait, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'm busy trying to schedule some interviews with some guys from that side. You know, mm. like Rotimi. Right, if you get Rotimi, I mean, hopefully fifty. 
You know? Of course. Oh, yeah. Because of power. Yes. I got him on he's WhatsApp. Let me access. send him a WhatsApp now. He's got an access. If we get 50 and 58, because he talks a lot of shit. Like, I love 50. He's content gold. Content gold. Bro, content gold. Yeah. yeah. Did, you saw, did you see? I already posted with the young buck. <laughs> you know? So, so 50, they posted uh, with this trans um, lady, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then, uh, so the trans lady is with 50. Young buck is standing far, all right? So, 50 is like, it didn't make sense, you know, why this nigga was standing so far, you know? But now it came out that the boy loves loves boys, yeah. you know? And that's why, you know, because young buck, <laughs> yes, know, he yes, was like, yes. had a thing with a translator yes, and stuff. Yes, yes. So he's just like... He's wild. He's, he's just been, talks. He's been He's rocking. been nailing Didi. Didi, 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 Didi oh, he's been nailing him, yeah. So, 50 cents, bro. Oh, oh boy. insane. 50. We'll get him, dog. Fuck, Let's manifest, insane. my dog. Let's manifest. Now we're getting him. Who God else? is powerful. Who else? Who else are we manifesting? Ah, let's know it. What's a slow? Yeah. Oh. Let's nah. slow, yeah. Okay. Let's nah. shoot. We'll talk when we come back. Oh. Also, I think uh, Chris Brown, because he fucks with a lot of SA content, like on TikTok challenges. Mm. Yeah. It was a slow. It was a slow. They're already in Chris Brown's DMs right now. Yo. Do not yeah. go. Don't go. Yeah. Because they influence Malik Yoba. Yeah. They influence Malik Yoba. Malik Yoba said us. Yes. No, yeah. Not to come here. Yes. Someone said no. Malik Yoba said no. Wow. Yeah, Malik Yoba was like, no. Wow. It was clear that Maybe they... Maybe it was clear. It's clear. Maybe it was clear. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear that they influenced them. Yeah. It's clear. It's very clear. Yeah. Like, the, you know? All right. When the penny dropped. Uh, I got so many announcements. Are you guys ready? Whew. Yeah, let's hear it, bro. Chillers, mark your calendars. On the 23rd of March, Kia the Glen is inviting you to the market day. It's happening at One Boundary Road, Oak Dean in Johannesburg. Lock it's it in. It's a fantastic opportunity for you to support local entrepreneurs Yo. as small business owners showcase their stalls and share their unique local businesses. Mm. As a chiller, there's a special treat for you. Bring along the promo code MACG2024GLEN. That's macg 2024 Glen to unlock exclusive specials and promotions available only on the day. Entry is absolutely free. Whoa. See you there. You have an appointment with Kia. Lock it in. Yes. And then our nationwide tour continues. Yeah. <laughs> in April's Yaka Lagiman. Catch us in Bloom at the Civic Theater on the 13th of April. Yo. Then we hit Limpopo on the 27th of April. Jesus. Yo, can we get that driver that gets drunk? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. No. Cecil oh, Rhodes. That, that's my guy. <laughs> he's a, no, he's not John Cecil Rhodes. He's jumbled up. He's like Cecil Rhodes John. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cecil Rhodes. Did I tell you? Remember yes, he was... his name? John Cecil Rhodes. Cecil Rhodes John. Remember, I t- I remember he was getting wasted with us at Rockets you know? at the after party, right? <laughs> So people came up to me thinking it's my father. <laughs> that nigga was so drunk, bro. At some like, point, he was telling the crew that we must go home. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, Caleb. He's the driver. He's our driver. He's the driver. So, so wasted. And Kayla's our social name. media. Kayla's our social media manager, right? We just hired her like two two months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she was with us, and he was busy dropping us at all the villas. It's like when I'm gonna drop you off last. I wanna really take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, man, that guy. Ah, I yeah, think he's going to come, eh? No, no, no. We need to, we'll have to bring him ourselves. I don't think uh, the, the company... <laughs> the company uh, yeah, but he's a vibe. Will, will send him. I don't ah, think they'll send him. He's a vibe, him. though, man. Why don't they see this? When they see this? Ah, but he's a vibe. He's a rock star. He went to the beach with them at one. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is a driver. And he was like... Oh, good up. Oh, look how it goes. He was like... No, but he was lit. Was he not was walking lit. like that? Was he not like you? Uh, you? Uh, he was. Uh, they should have protected him. Uh, no, no, he didn't drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they are, he we are not your ice boys. So. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he didn't drive. We were responsible, right? Yeah. Uh, we didn't let him drive, but the driver was lit. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's our guy. Yeah, so the guys had to... He had sinuses. He had sinuses and sinuses. needed some un- alcohol to... That's oh, what... Fula, fula, yeah. No? That's what he told our CEO, Bala, when he was shouting at him. I told him, I'm going to to take over at some point, he became the tribe. 
Tabang. Tabang? Yeah. I was driving. Yes. Tabang. Tabang was driving from the beach. Because he couldn't drive. Are you sure, guys? He can't. Tabang just wrote off his car. Wait, Tabang just. So you took a drunk driver. No, the driver got drunk. Umchua. What did Minim Kuzo? Utubangi support. Ah, I see what's happening. Utin, I see what's happening, so. What's going on? He knows the shit they were up to. So they're scared we, if we call him, he's gonna <laughs> spill yeah. the beans. So they're protecting him. He knows too Wait, much. He knows driver. too much. The driver they don't want the much. driver. Where's the number? Let's call the driver. Let's call Cecil yes. Rose. Yes. He knows Guys, too much. Let's call Cecil Rose. I see please. what's happening here. Yeah. Tuso, give us his number there. That, that's why they're protecting him. He knows too much. <laughs> he saw everything. Nah. He saw everything. <laughs> nah, he anyway, so listen, if you remember, uh, we're offering 20% discount. Uh, and then if you're super chiller, we're offering 50% discount uh, for the tickets. So head on over to Quicket to secure tickets now. You can find the link in the description Shout below. Out. See you there. Shout out to our private chef, Chef Tolile Mapanga. Oh who looked Amazing. after the entire crew during chef uh, during our stay there. His handle is at chefs without a name. So make sure you follow him uh, or make sure you book him for amazing catering content. Is 081. I'm, I'm finishing. Without a name. I'm, without I'm doing a live read. If, if, if you let me finish, you will. Shout out, chefs without a name. So his handle is chefs without a name. Uh, to book him for amazing catering, you can contact 081-731-4934. That's 081-731-4934. He operates in Joburg and Durban. Nice. Ah, yeah. shout out, chef. And then last but not least, it's finally happening, Panduka. Which one? Simpiwa's dating show. Oh. Oh. Spiwa's dating show. DJ PJ. We're going <laughs> to get him a woman. Finally, finally, bro. Yeah, finally. finally. Get your life oh. in order. Yeah, get your shit in order, bro. M finally, man. Make shit. sure they listen to you, though, all right? Yeah. yeah. Ha. Ah, I'm just letting him know. Let's choose the right one. Ah. Yeah. How is so, it going to work now? So, uh, if you want to be part of the dating show as a lady, mm -hmm. or even a gent, we are inclusive. We are inclusive. We are inclusive. You may not choose you, but we, you are, we are inclusive. You are inclusive. Yes. Just send due to your email, ne? Yes, Dudu's email. Send Dudu, email to Dudu. Dudu at thisismagg.com. So if you're a, uh, a gent, a lady, whatever, and you want to be a part of St. Peter's Dating Show, send an email to Dudu, Dudu at thisismagg.com. Oh, also send pictures as well, I think. That's what Why? Why do you need hey, pictures? Man, what's your type, bro? No, what's your type, man? Why do you need pictures? Just to what? Uh, uh, it's part of content. You must see when they come. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, guys. Yeah, that's true. This is not Google. We're inclusive here. Anyone is welcome. Everyone. If you feel like you're strong, young buck, come through. Even young buck can come. <laughs> uh, who, who was, young someone buck. was talking. Oh, Wait. what's your type? Yes. yes, yes. Yeah, what's your type, man? Like, <coughs> I want to type in Dwana. In Jawa, in Jawa. You can tip your wash. In Jawa, in Jawa. You can tip your wash. What's your type? What's your type? What are you going to type? Kumbu la pele o tene o the man. Ah, we are under mine. We are under mine. Ah, we are under mine. What's your type? What's your type? What's your type? Ah, sure. What was your type? I want to find out now. I can't articulate my type. Ah. Yeah. No, you can. It buffers when you articulate, but you can eventually. Big, big bums? Yeah. Do you like big bums? Yeah, big yeah. bums. Yeah. Chubby, chubby, chubby. Chubby. I love chubby. Chubby is in Mkaba. Yeah. Uh, Flab. No. All right. Dark skinned, light boned? Yellow. Dark. Yellow bone. Yellow bone. Yeah. Okay, not, yeah, but yeah. Yellow bone. Oh, yeah. It's the girl from uh, um, Bloom. It's the girl hey, from Bloom. Hey, He's hey, Dude, bring one of those contestants there, the yellow one. <laughs> Let's see if that's his type. Remember the yellow one there? I saw her already. Yes. <laughs> They've left. Oh, They've okay. left. Okay. So yellow. But that's your type, that one. Thick, yeah. chubby. Yeah. With like. You talking about dude, bro? Not like <laughs> that. Like dude's not chubby, man. Uh. <laughs> Ghost lady, yeah. yeah. Thick, chubby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're both in the belly. They're both in the belly also. Yeah. Him and Naga in the belly. You know, you, you know they're gonna wanna give you a BJ, right? You the BJ guy. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're the blowjob. Yeah, no, nah, I don't mind. I don't oh, mind. God. Let us rock. Have we thought about the show? Like, what's the format? So remember the watch we were busy um, just uh, presenting to Bala that time when we sat together and trying to, like, just scam with ideas. Mm. Yeah. But if you, I think chillers will have better ideas, man, because they consume a lot of content. They'll know what they want to see. Yeah. Yeah, but a dating show Because we could do the 20 show. versus one sound guy. Oh, that's... What's that's 20 versus that's one already done. What's 20 versus one? There's that thing on, on YouTube where they do 20 versus what what. Mm -mm. 20 versus what what. It's What's overdone. That now? Go to Google that. Yeah, just, just watch. watch. Oh, that's old school. I must Google yeah, 20 versus one. It's overdone. It's overdone. Mm. Okay, send Dudu <laughs> ne? suggestions ne? of what you'd like to see the Simpure dating show like. Ne? Mm. Ne? Mm. Mm. I think we'll get so now, shit. wait, wait. The dating show, is it the ultimate? Like, does it get a woman every week or is it like one woman per season? Whoa, whoa. Season? No, like. It's a one off, dog. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. So it's finding him the ultimate one. Mm. Oh. The ultimate one. Big booty, light skinned. So he doesn't go on dates tall. with, like, tall. Like, what tall? Short. What do you mean short? Pure short. It's pure short. Pure so short. Like your height. Dude. Are this oh, short you don't mind girls who are taller. Spiwe. Spiwe. You don't mind girls who are taller. Nah, all the girls I've dated were taller. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you feel like you've conquered a mountain, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. Anything else, my dog? <laughs> I'm good. Ghost lady. All great. All good. Thank you. We out of here, man. Podcast and chill. Whatever you do, do not buy this. Uh, <laughs> bye. bye. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear. For if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would my papunzi Parama chilla, it lesha le figi. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.